Boop, boop, uh, let's and light this the candle. music started to fade out, the first rays of sunlight lit up your eyes. Thank you for watching the After Files live stream. This is not a professional production. We don't know why anyone watches this thing, but we're glad you do. And now, to kick off the show is everyone's favorite sidekick. The one, the only, Hecklefish. Do you? working is this thing on that thumbs up from gino there's jenny victoria's there who is in the chat quantum sledgehammer's there very reliable there's kelsey wallace for our drums 
uh, got abducted by another UFO. So we'll get to hear about that. Vincent, I see you. The dude, 087's there. Sizzle, whizzle. Almost 50K tonight. Close. Almost 50. I don't think we hit it. But I'm pretty happy with that number. This is was kind of a specific subject. I wouldn't think anyone would click on the thumbnail if they'd never heard of it. Um, and I watched the chat for a lot of it, and plenty of people were saying that it was boring. And I, I know who those those people are. But plenty of people were saying that it was fascinating, and that's those are my people. So, you know, once in a while you have to do a subject that, that you know, I have to do one that, that I like. And Cicada 3301 has fascinated me since since it was new. You know, I wish there was more resolution to it because as I'm writing it, and it's no, there's no real ending. It's just, it, they never figured it out. Platypus loved it. Morning, Rob D from Dubai. Ladderstein, Ladderstein, Ladderstein says it wasn't boring. Well, I appreciate that. Um, it's one of my favorite edits that I've done. Uh, AJSLI, Cicada's AI 100%. Uh, I, I disagree, but but I think you could probably do a new cicada with AI. And I was amazed that so far two patrons have solved the puzzle that was in the video. Let me see if I can see who it is. Hang on. Hey, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking for it. So unprofessional. This isn't a live stream. This is a circus. Uh, by the way, uh, Patreon is a great way to support the channel. So that, that's what I'm looking. I'm looking for. I just, I just want to know their names, because as you know, uh, Patreon members get to see the videos in advance, early with no commercials. I, the commercials are becoming like my favorite part of the shows. Hang on, that's my stupid voice. All right, last well, of puzzle solved. Congrats to Jack uh, Griffin was first, and Adrian Kemp also got it. If anyone else got it in the last couple of hours, I'm not aware of it yet because it's not you're not in my email. But everything you need to solve it is in there. Glenn Bullion, Gertie owns you. Uh, I think I think Gertie makes another appearance next week. We have to see. Uh, Simon, I missed the song. I, oh, I, I missed a, a ton of stuff, but you, you can't put in every clue and, um, and they're, they're repetitive. So in the early chapters, I just want to set up, here are the things that they, they do. And then later on, it was just, well, they did those things again. Um, cyber Foo wants dope seller to get a shout. So there you go. But that's D zero P E. Uh, bon, bonsai, uh, looking for camel lube. I think you can get that on Amazon. I'm not, not sure. Jason, appreciate the, the compliment. Roast beef says I solved it and it was dirty. Shame. Chemtrails. Troy D wants chemtrails. Maybe we, I mean, it's on the list. I just have to find a way to fit it in to make it work because, uh, to make it work with, with the story. Jason Puck, you like that ice cream song? I've gone to that well, I think, two or three times now on this channel when um because he hates K-pop. And uh and even fans of K-pop kind of universally agree that that is one of the worst K-pop songs ever. Uh, despite Selena Gomez, she couldn't save it. LTD Super Dude, one, two, three, first time watching in after files. Well, this is it. This is, it's not a professional thing that we do. It's just, I don't know why anyone watches it, but I'm glad you do. I'm glad that you're here. Hey, Anthony Goodley, hiding a puzzle in your premiere is a genius way to get them views sky high. A couple of people have said that. I mean, you're saying it in a nice way. A couple of people are kind of snotty about it. Like I'm like I'm view jacking, but that was not really my intention. And, um, 
man, I see. I want to explain, Anthony, why why I'm not view jacking with that with the puzzle. But if I explain it any further, I'm going to give us. I'm going to start to give a hint as to why. Maybe I'll give a hint later. But uh, but but I'm I'm not view jacking. I promise. Happy Thursday to you, Joe Carey. Jason Valente is there, first timer. <laughs> King Biggles, F those people that are worried about the view jacking. I don't care about them, King Biggles. I wanted the puzzle in there. And it's something that we talked about for a while, actually, was starting to put um, little puzzles and quests and things to solve in every episode. And I think we're going to do that, but I need to get a few episodes ahead so you can kind of plan them to make them a little bit more fun. You know, maybe put stuff on the bulletin board because the, the bulletin board changes every week, but it usually changes because someone from the audience sent in something they wanted to put up there. Or if I'm talking about aliens, I'll put a few extra UFO uh, pictures up there. There's it, That's really about all there is to it. But the bulletin board would be a great way to drop clues as to puzzles. And by the way, there I'm going to give prizes to like the first, I don't know, few people who get it. Five, ten, I don't know what it is. And we'll probably give Hecklefish plushies, which I have heard are, are shipping. I believe these are shipping now. The moon landing was fake. So um, if you ordered your, your Hecklefish, I appreciate that. Uh, those are finally shipping. I don't know when the next batch goes out. I don't know if you, you – know, let me look at the producers. If they buy – like if a new person comes in to buy one, does it just ship out or they got to wait another six months? They got to wait six months, three months. You got to wait two months. Victoria says three months. You got to wait three three more months. No, I'm just kidding. I think they go out pretty pretty soon. Sybils has not shipped yet. I I think they just started shipping like 15 minutes ago. So they're coming. Uh, Cat McKay, I so need a plush hecklefish. I don't know why don't you have yours, Cat. <laughs> I mean, how adorable, except for the teeth. The teeth are, these are not, these are like hard teeth. I think they're plastic, but he, Hecklefish says that they're harvested. But they're, either way, they're creepy. They look real. They look like real teeth, which I think is great. I think, uh, I'm, I'll have to ask Jenny for sure, but I think we're going to make like fuzzy Hecklefish slippers kind of like this. With the funny face and the teeth that you can wear around the house. But if, you know, if you trip over his teeth, don't, don't sue me. It's just, you know, it's a novelty item. You know, it's like established titles. It's a, it's a novelty gift. Don't, don't get angry at me. Quantum Sledgehammer's there. Thank you for the 1999. I appreciate the super chats from everyone tonight. Uh, there's no danger of me being recruited by the puzzle designers. I lack the high-end tech skills. I'm impatient with technology. I get frustrated if my computer boots slowly, and I'm easily distracted. Why, just another cat? I see what you did there, Quamps. Very funny. Very funny. Nicely done. There's the T-shirt of the week. Designed by uh, SMK, a.k.a. Rob, the official artist of the Y-Files. So um, I haven't seen this yet. But knowing, knowing Rob, I see that there's binary code in there. Knowing Rob, that means something. Let me look at Jen. It means something? It means something. I don't know what it means. Uh, but that's cool. So that's a great way to support the channel. Every week, there's a t-shirt that goes with the episode. And, um, and they're lim it's, it's a limited run. They're only up there for two weeks. Unless you're a Patreon member, then then you can go and order the back the back T-shirts. So that's at shopthewifiles.com if you want to check that out and support the channel. Liz Teth, Liz Test, uh, Liz said, Barra is a fetish." You're talking about Mike Barra in the chat and his fetishes. You probably shouldn't. Shouldn't. I follow his. I follow his Twitter. So I know that he has a dark, dark soul. Be able to leave his fetishes out of it. 
<clears throat> There's Kelsey Wallace for five Canadian. <clears throat> Can you guys solve some of the cities in the, at least in the book, the secret by Byron Priest? Well, I have, I have to look that up to even see if we can solve that. This is a uh, secret by Byron Priest. Oh yeah. This is on the list. This is on the list. Jenny found this one maybe two years ago and she liked the story. So that one's on the list. But thank you for that. Uh, Kelsey, for our drums is there. I got abducted by another UFO last night. This time I brought my drum kit and started drumming to Cygnus X1 by Rush. They feared being sucked into a black hole with that song, so they let me go. Bang, alien buttheads. drums definitely a neil pert fan no doubt about that uh vincent raval kaba ten dollars hey what are your thoughts on the theory that the new world order and the one world government and the recent attacks on free speech and censorship are part of the beginning of the new world order um i don't think it's as as you know as dark and evil as all that vincent but i think that the one world government new world order i think that process has already begun and i would i i, I can't really get into it too much on the live stream maybe you know, on a different platform, but I, I believe it began sometime around 2008. I think I could prove it. The dude, 087, $5, great show. I'd like to give a shout out to my ferret, Loki Loki. Hello, ferret. It's a smart ferret watching the, uh, the live files. So thanks for everyone for coming over tonight. I appreciate it. Thanks for the super chats. That really helps the channel. T-shirt buying really helps. Become a Patreon member. That really helps. Um, coming up, we've got... What do we have? We've got Gino Story Hour. He's going to talk about, uh, maybe I'm not allowed to say. I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to say, right, Gino? Big, big, big evil man-eating creatures talking about those. Um, also coming up, I, we've got a couple of creepy videos. A couple of ghosts I found. A couple of really weird ones that reminded me of Doctor Who. Got a couple of different videos of the Peru aliens and a possible explanation, which I'm not sure I buy. And then a whole bunch of stuff on the, um, the MH370 plane. Have you guys been following those, the videos that have been kicking around, uh, Twitter? Do I have to call it X? Just worst rebrand ever. Just a bunch of, uh, videos that have been kicking around that are allegedly taken from satellite. Another one taken from a drone that seemed to sync up. The thing is, it's the the videos of the airliner, so it gets a it gets accosted, approached by three UFOs, right? If you've seen it, and they are just they're making this sphere around the plane, and then there's this flash, and it's gone, and that's captured from a few different angles. It's so unbelievable that my instinct says this has got to be fake, because it's so unbelievable. But I haven't found any debunking on it yet. Metabunk has nothing, at least not yet. So I don't know. I almost kind of want there to, I need an explanation for this because it's crazy. And um, I wonder if I saved it, but, but someone had dug up an old, old story about, um, about a pilot who, whose plane also got surrounded by UFOs and he vanished. And there were witnesses to that. So this is a thing. So we have that. Um, found a very cool video of Iran's military trying to shoot down a UFO. They did not succeed. Um, 
and Gino and Victoria found a couple of interesting videos. The dinosaur in the yard. I've, I saw that one before. The, someone's got a T-Rex. No, the neighbor's got a T-Rex in the neighbor's garage just trying to get out. I don't know if you guys have seen that one. It's, it's a fun one. Username, the plane is gone. I'll, you know, I'm going to, I'll save it for the videos because it'd be more interesting. But the, the thing, the thing is, it's, you know, there, there's been a lot of wreckage that has been found from the plane. So, um, uh, Seamus' favorite part is when the wormhole flashes and the light hits surrounding clouds. Uh, it's crazy. And look, uh, my instinct says it's all fake. And I see a couple of, a couple of folks in the chat think it's fake. That's fine. So if we think it's fake, just we don't we don't just we don't look at the videos, right? If like if a story is fake, we don't tell it. We just I don't know. I guess I could sit here and talk about politics. No, we play it. We play the video, fake or not, because it's fun. That's why we're here. B Kiddo, where where can I find this video? Well, I'm gonna play them for you. Keep an eye on your clock. So I'm gonna play them for you in a little bit. But you can find them all over Twitter. Glenn, Glenn Bullion later, guys. Good night, Glenn. We just, we're just warming up, bud. Don't leave us so soon. Not before Gino's story hour. That's a party fail. Uh, Midget Matt is there. Thank you for the $10. You give to my boys, Phoenix and Xander, who love the show. Y Files crew and fam are amazing. Keep it up. Looking forward to picking up some gear. I won a Hecklefish plushie on Discord. <laughs> Oh, would you kindly fetch my tinfoil hat? All hail Lord Hecklefish. By the way, he comes with his own tinfoil hat. That's that's not, you know, sold separately. But we are going to eventually sell just a package of his hats and wigs and stuff that he wears on the show. Um, that you could put on, that you dress your own heckle, like a, like a heckle potato head, like a potato heck. I don't know, potato heckle. So we'll sell those. And as always, I promise it will not be too expensive. So far, I've kept my word on all of that. T-shirts are getting a little pricey, but uh, I'm going to get them down. You'll see. Jeffrey, thank you for the $10. Greetings, programs. The shirt for this episode has to be only fins. You caught that. You're a good listener. Yeah, one of his boys just turned 13, and he doesn't want him looking at the ladies on only fins. Uh, Michael Miller posting an icon of camel lube. <laughs> I didn't know if, if we were going to get that one through the uh, through the sponsor, but because uh, how it works is is Jen writes the commercials, right? She writes the commercials. She puts all the sponsor requirements in there, and she writes some jokes, and she does that. She's <laughs> looking at me, and then and then we send them to the sponsor for approval, and that works great. But then before I shoot them, I go through it, and I'm like, ah, eh, maybe. Maybe camel lube works here as a joke, or you know some of that uh, some of that other <laughs> other stuff. Maybe only fins is fun because those jokes are not in the sponsors. Don't see those. That's just like I roll the dice, and hopefully there's not an issue. But uh, but thanks to Jen for writing those. That's definitely her least favorite thing that she does for this channel. She's shaking her head no. Well, she's shaking her head. No, it's not your least favorite. Then why are why do you never hit your deadlines? No, she didn't, she did not like that that comment at all. Well, we'll get into that later. Laser Griff AJ blaming her for the sponsor scripts. I'm giving her credit for them. Laser, I couldn't do them without her. There's no way I could do it. Five o'clock shadow, AJ has a beard stubble that might be a clue to, to the way he time travels. Interesting that five o'clock shadow is the username and is, is, is sending messages about beards. That's an obsession. That's That might be an unhealthy obsession with facial hair. You may want to talk to somebody about that. Do some interest, do some internal looking into, into yourself about that. Bro, bro men sensual issues, less valued. Joel, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I think you made up words, but I, but I like, Bromon, bromo sensual, bromo sensual, says Joel Widgens. There is mystery flavor. Thank you for the ten dollars. I like the way you pronounce dopamine. I know you 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 like it to be dopamine. 
dopamine or dopamine. Both are acceptable. Someone in the chat trying to correct my pronunciation of Lieber Primus. Incorrectly trying to correct my pronunciation of Lieber Primus. Lieber Primus is correct. Jeff Wallace for $20. I love Waffle House Thursday. My 85-year-old mom and a couple of my adult kids stop by and we all enjoy the show and learn something. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. That's fun. Your mom sounds cool. Jeff had the cool mom. Casey Balfour's here. Thank you for the nice words. Snoopy SN, Elton John glasses. Do they actually work? Uh, yeah. Do, I mean, did these look very Elton John? That's cool. I can get some like rhinestones on them or something. They're actually just Amazon. They're like Amazon $12 glasses. The amber lens because the lights in front of my face are bright and they have magnification so I can read is why. So Snoopy, I don't know. If you watch the, the early, early after files, it's a lot of me doing this. You know, just my forehead and a squint. Oh, I gotta, I gotta find out who Jen's Botox guy is. I gotta get that looked at. That's that's too wrinkly. What's up from Ohio? I see you. Breeding warrior likes only fins. James J never heard of Cicada 3301. I'm glad that you that it was new to you, and I'm glad that you stuck around for it. I did not think um I didn't think we'd get close to 50 tonight. But it was nice that we did. And look, it was a change of pace, for, you know, for, from the from the ghosts. Next week we're doing um, sunken continents. So thirty three or one, I think it really mixes it up. You know, just when you think you've got the pattern, the Y files down, like you know what's coming. I just I would I go got to go left turn on you, and that's I think it's fun. Not everybody likes it, according to the chat. You know, bring back aliens, bring back aliens, but you know. I don't want to be the alien guy. Kate McFarland, poor Jen being told on about her Botox. Let her have her beauty secrets. Kate, you just made it worse. You that's the barber, that's the Streisand effect. I just said a quick thing and I made it more about my that I need the Botox. And look, no, no shame if 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 you do any of that stuff. No shame in that. You don't think this is the real color of my hair. You do whatever you, makes you feel good. Hempshawn wants more cryptids. That's that's going to be a hard no for me. I have to do them because people ask for those. But I could never do, if I never did another cryptid, it would be 100% fine. But Hempshawn, if you have a favorite cryptid, put it in the chat, you know, while I'm watching it. Because as, as as we continue picking up momentum, is this momentum? Does it feel like momentum? Momentum. I'm dry. I'm I'm dragging weights behind me. But I mean, as we pick up momentum, I'm not going to be able to look at the chat so much. Is, is is the slow chat even on? Let me look at the producers. They say it is. Mike D says no to cryptids, but I'll still watch. I appreciate that, man. Jersey Devil. Chupacabra relation, but you're that you want Stark Moto. You want to see an episode on the Jersey Devil? I, don't just tell me cryptids, because I know I know them all. To, I want. Do you want a story on it? Like a story on the Jersey Devil? Is that enough? Chupacabras. That's if that's. I like Chupacabra. That that maybe we can do if we have to do a cryptid. We'll do that one. It's just a fun word to say. Um. Who's the first one in the chat who can tell me what that means in Spanish? Who's who's got it? Who's got it? There's Lee. There's Shelly. Got a psycho. Nikki Wellsing. Simulation theory. No to cryptids. See, Latterstein thinks Jersey Devil is boring. I agree. Uh, Andrew, what episode in JRE were you? I don't remember the number, but I I can fire the, off that link to you. Gino, you don't have you don't have to do that. <laughs> I dropped the link in the in the chat. Um, I don't who got goat sucker first. Let me see. Not devil goat, Kate. Crazy goat eater. I think didn't Hecklefish tonight thought that word meant goat kiss, which would be what? I guess that would be a basil cabra, right? My Spanishers out there.
There's Danny Stormborn, very reliable. I've been waiting to hear from Mr. Peckerwood all night. Really likes the episode tonight. Funds for the Camel Lube and the Guppy Mama Fund. That's what I'm talking about. Can't believe we got Camel Lube through the through the sens sensor slash sponsors. Cacho Simpson goes with El Besa Cabras, LOL. I I, th I, th I think I was pretty close, you know, for a gringo. Uh, fan of the box that will get you over the hump. Uh, next week, I think we act we actually have a we have a hump situation with Gertie. Is that right, Jenny? We have a we have a like a medical situation with the hump that we need to address. So that's that's coming up. Carl Lawls, thank you for ten dollars. Good choice on the book there, AJ. Well, which book are you talking about, Carl? Did I type something about the book? Um, let's reignite United. AJ it looked like you enjoyed this episode. I did. I like that subject. Sometimes you just have to do stuff that you like. Because I feel like I don't get an, enough of a chance of that. Because look, this is this is a show. So the show is for you. It's for the audience. So I can say here on the after files that I don't want to do cryptids, but next week. There'll be a Chupacabra episode and meme with my stupid face will be telling the story like I love it because that's my job. But inside or as I'm writing it, I'm like, this is this is not real. None of this is who believes this. But Cicada is different. Cicada is I that's I'm very interested in that. Aaron Chapman, teach what you love. Luango, do that. Do stuff that you like, my man. The Day's Dory gives that episode a 10 out of 10. That's nice of you to say. I don't know. I really like the edit because I like the sound design. I had a little extra time this week. I may have a little extra time next week because next week's episode is pretty much written. Just have to do a joke pass on it and add a little bit more mystery. Um, by the way, it's going to be on Lemuria, the uh, the sunken continent. And I, and I'm, I don't think I'm spoiling it here because it's just us. I can tell you what happens. Spoiler alert. They found evidence of it. So that's coming up next week. Digitizer 101 coming up on the 3301 mark, minute mark. I wish I had thought of that earlier. I would have had something fun planned. Instead, it just came and went. Corey Steele uh, adding to the chat, I eat my boogers. That's cool, man. You do you. But, you know, everyone has something to add into the... Uh, into the chat. It's me. Great episode. However, strange way to recruit for coders. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't name the, the, I didn't name the, uh, there's at least two guys that allegedly solved the early puzzles. I didn't name them because you can't really prove it. So I didn't want to do that. But if, I mean, if you're interested in going deeper on Cicada and look, if you are respect, because it's super fun, you have to look for the YouTube channel, Knox Populi. He doesn't post anymore. Allegedly, he solved um, the 2012 and 2013 puzzles, and he takes you through the whole solutions. He takes you through how everything worked. So if you want to nerd out for with five or six hours of content, Knox Populi is the is the one to go to. And I, I'm pretty sure I linked him at the bottom of the uh, of the description. Another great video is is by Let Me Know, which is a channel that I followed for a long time. And he covered Cicada. I mean, it, he... He might have been one of the first videos I saw on it, you know. So that's Let Me Know, and he did a great job on it. It's just a short video. I think it's 15, 16 minutes. Let Me Know is, is one of the channels I sub to, and he only posts like once or twice a year. I think his last one is JFK. Marge on the Lion likes Let Me Know. Scott Boombalodi wants skinwalkers. We're going to do skinwalkers, but I'm, I have to tread very carefully because I'm probably going to debunk a good chunk of the skinwalker lore, and people don't like that. Uh, James Kipp is in a film called Cicada. James, you need a new agent. No, off no offense. No offense. I think um, – didn't uh, 
Then Alan was the name Alan Hutchison. Who's the new who's the new reacher? Alan Hutchison? Hitchson, Hinson, Alan, whoever he is, he wrote, he wrote Cicada. I watched, and I'm only teasing you that you're in the in a movie that's awesome. I've been in, in a couple of movies as a as an extra and as a very low feature that I'm too embarrassed to even say. So good on you that you were in that. But I watched the first like chunk of minutes and it was nothing like what I, because I know the story of Cicada. I wanted that. I wanted the, the Wide Files episode with, you know, characters. And it wasn't that. Noah Kent, could you please do a video on the Dream Man phenomenon? I'm so glad that you asked for that because that's on my list. It's been toward the top of my list forever. It's another one of those stories that there's not, there's not a ton there, but I find it super fascinating. If we're talking about the, thing, the same guy, the, the urban legend is, have you ever dreamt this man? And it's a legend about how everyone is dreaming of the same man. They see the same man's face. And I don't want to spoil it, but uh, but it's a fun urban legend. So that's on the list. I'm glad you asked for that. The, the big reason I keep pushing it down is I, f I feel like uh, no one has ever heard of this. And so it's fun when I when when there's something that I want to do and I and I hold off on it. And then I see you in the chat and say, like, yes, my people are here. Ryan James Barr, the Jejun Institute. Um I covered the Latitude Society, Ryan. Start there. The Latitude is a little bit more, uh, there's, it's just a little bit more fun and interesting than Jejun. Jejun was first. Um, and if you're into that, there's, I think uh, Jason Siegel EP'd and starred in um, a series on it. I don't know if it was Jejun, but it's based on those those ARGs by the, by the same company. But I would start with Latitude Society. That's a fun episode. It's one of my favorites. And uh, and it's endorsed by Latitude, so they liked they liked what I did with it, which because I wasn't you know I wasn't super complimentary about it, I wasn't a jerk. But Nani wants Tartaria. That's coming. That's on the list. I've James Horton mud floods. That'll be part of Tartaria. I've held off on that one because that's a new urban legend. That is not like you can't you can't go beyond. 20, I don't know, 16? Earlier than that, you won't find any info on it. But that's part of the legend, right? It's all been scrubbed. It's been scrubbed. CIA and KGB, they erased all that. So that's why there's nothing on it. So we will cover that one. Um, that's a fun legend. Christy Stokely liked the Latitude episode. Uh, we still we still tell the joke, or at least uh, we still tell the... Um, the knee doctor joke when we talk about the channel. Cause it, if you remember it, all the games of the latitude society, a lot of it was you go to this house, this like building and the lights are off and they have you crawling around everywhere into different rooms. You're crawling. So hecklefish makes the joke like who, you know, who invented this game A knee doctor and you know, I, you can't do other comedians bits, but it was funny. Darren Bennett hit that like button. Yeah, I don't know how we're doing on likes. I don't really follow that, but I appreciate the uh, the plugs. The Secret Underworld of Disney. That would be fun, but you can't. I can't do that on YouTube. That's Disney is part of the same cabal. Um, you know, maybe after they go bankrupt, I can I can do it. Uh, Rocco G loves the show. What do you think? Do you think Apple's going to buy Disney? I don't think that helps things, but uh, but I've heard that being kicked around. Uh, Mark Caldwell, 370 was hacked remotely. Okay. I haven't heard that. Ham Banana is a therapist. Um, 370 washed up in Madagascar. Yeah, chunk, big chunks of it did. Chelsea O'Hanlon, Disney is always watching. Yeah, we got we to gotta be careful. GGGG Goldman, Elon should buy Disney. Right, and that would be great for the first three months, and then after that, it would go back to the way it was. You dig what I'm saying? You follow the news on X today? Uh, Gertie Plushy, how about it, says Melanie Cullingridge. That might be fun. Did you? Did you see, there's a picture of Gertie in the uh, in the studio now, if you saw that. I saw the, it's so much phlegm. And and this last episode was terrible with the, with the, with the 
the nasal passages, I could I could barely pronounce words. It just all sounds like this to me. That's what I just hear. And when I listen to it played back, it drives me nuts because I can't say the words. But I should have done this a couple of days earlier, but um, I fired up the old neti pot. It's good. I just I just got to do a nasal flush before I shoot, and we're going to be fine. 08 AOC says hecklefish plushie question mark question mark you don't know please say aliens please say aliens please say aliens <laughs> I mean how could you not how can you not you get your own uh card focus focus you're on hello my name is card an episode on the necronomicon that's that's the book that hecklefish used to read to uh to the to the guppies when he was a camp counselor in the 80s at Camp Greenfoot. Maybe we can cover that. Marconi scientist deaths. I don't do a lot of deaths, Lee. You know, I, I a little bit you know, I I in the ARV episode, I think it was that one. The alien reproduction vehicle, the one about Mark McCandlish who his fr his friend accidentally stumbled into the into a UFO presentation by the military. It's it's a good episode. And I think this is the one where at we're toward the end of it, I just listed one after the other of scientists and researchers and whistleblowers that just kept dying in weird ways, hit by car, suicide, suicide, hit by car, drowned, suicide. I just kept rattling them off. And it was a powerful couple of minutes. But I, it also felt a little bit dark for the channel. So I've tried not to go super dark. Um, but we do have the what files coming up, you know, to a YouTube's near you soon. And that's going to be true crime. And we'll, we can cover darker stuff there. That's why I don't do the um, the missing 411 stories. is because there's usually a victim. And, uh, you know, I, 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 earlier on it would have been okay. This channel is never supposed to be kid friendly, and I would I would when when people say that the kids watch the show, the first thing I would say is that's nice. Don't let them watch the show. But that was a long time ago. Since then, I've kind of tried to make the channel PG thirteen. It's still a lot of young kids watch it. They like the fish, um, but for the most part, I just try to be mindful that there are younger people watching, and they don't need to just have constant deaths and suicide stories. You know, when the What Files launches, they could tune into that. And kids are not going to want to watch that. GG, 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 Goldman can't wait for the channel fire, fire. TF to Observer, the kids love you, AJ. Yeah, I don't know why. I think they love the fish. Uh, Vince Vegas digs the red background. Appreciate that. I think it looks pretty cool. Andrew Fry, why files after dark? There's one for 99. Thank you for supporting the channel. Was the answer to the puzzle hump scrubbing? Did I figure it out first? It was not hump scrubbing. Um, but a nice call back to a previous Gertie commercial. Because we have the hump scrubber. I think I... I guess it's in the other room, but I have I did keep the the hump scrubber. That's another one. I there was a couple of jokes in there that Timu didn't see in advance. I just let her rip, and hump scrubber was one of those. Look, if you go look at the commercial, if you watch the commercials, I guarantee you will you can tell which jokes are Jen's and which are mine. You will know they're they're, they're clearly distinct. And hers are, I mean, mostly funny. I mean, 65% of them, 60, 65% are, are, she doesn't like that number. They're, they're all funny. They're all funny, uh, honey, sweetie, sweetie kins. She's not falling for it. I'm in trouble. Let's keep it moving. Chance maybe for $10. Dag, gummit. I knew there would be a puzzle in the video, but I'm too tired to figure it out tonight. Here, money. Love you guys. Well, thanks, Chance. And look, if you don't want to solve the puzzle, I get it. I am i don't really enjoy puzzle solving like if I'm, I'm if I'm gaming which I you know I'm not a gamer but I'll I'll fire up Xbox and uh I'm 
not shy about it. I'd, I I would fire up Xbox every day if I could. Um, but when I'm when I'm playing, I like games where you shoot and blow things up. Swords are fine. I like action and combat. Whenever I'm in a game, especially an action game, and you get to some part, some level, and suddenly there's a puzzle where you have to move the rock over here and do this, I'm like, I'm out. I'm done. It's got to be. You have to make it stupid easy for me because I'm just screaming at the at the television while I'm doing it. Oh, do you want the rock here? Does it go here? Oh, now I can proceed. Thank you. Like I get really irritated. So, Chance, if you don't want to solve the puzzle, I, you know, I get it. Totally get it. Paul is here. I want you to know I said you been Thank you for all the dough Tipping As I'm sure you will find Always is a good time Ooh, ooh, ooh It's fun to tip the F-I-S-H It's fun to tip the F-I-S-H <laughs> YouTube will not allow any super chat for 3301. Talk about boring. But Paul, you 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 rounded up, and I appreciate that. So many people would have said, you know what? YouTube won't accept the 3301, so here's $1.99. A lot of people would do that, but you didn't. You went for 50, and I appreciate that. Appreciate the support. Couldn't do this without you guys. Definitely couldn't do this without Paul. Big support of the channel. Ron Klotzer, very reliable, $5. So why was it called Cicada? Still working on finishing my application. Because the, the when you finally went to the website, there was a picture of a Cicada, that image that you see with all with everything that I used. So that's why they just saw, call, started calling it Cicada 3301. Up until that point, there was no, it was not part of the lore. It was just the 3301 puzzles. I still hear the sinuses are clogged. It's driving me nuts. Puzzle is a hard word to say like this. You think this passes for a live stream? Think again. Got a notification. Celebrate the first super chat from Thane Vallette. I don't see you in the list just yet, Thane, but thank you for uh, thank you for that. You always remember your first. Michael Millet was 3301 forever. It's correct. 23 Skidoo says Von Donks. There's Buzz Dark and great episode. My pack of Mastiffs remain puzzled. Uh, we shall persist in sorting out your new challenge. I think you can do it, Buzz. Ken Bogus, we need a Hecklefish video game call of Guppy. I've got, I got an idea. I, I'm a little short on time, but I have an idea. I don't think that night management isn't looking for it, looking for more stuff. We, we, we're going to do games. We're going to do, we'll do TV shows. We'll do the feature films. We'll have a, we'll have a wide files theme park. We'll have a hecklefish ride. It's like, okay, hang on, hang on. I need an editor first and then we take over the world. But I appreciate that. I appreciate the, uh, the thinking big wicked illusion one of $10. Hey, hi, Jane crew. Well, how do you wicked? Basiqua asks, where is the puzzle? It's in the video. All the clues that you need to solve it are in the video. Eric, a hecklefish adversary like a devil and angel on AJ's shoulders. I like that idea. Space Panda was going to be one of those. He didn't pan out, but I don't think he's gone forever. Jimbo logo, that's a funny joke, but I'm not going to read that out loud. My wife will be very upset at that. That's right on the line. Just so the mods know. His joke is funny. And it's right on the line. So we'll keep an eye on you. Paul is back. I've seen every video out there on 3301. I learned a thing or two, but I mostly appreciate your take. Well, thanks, Paul. I tried to bring some new stuff, and they're very hard to bring new info on, on 3301. Very hard to do that. But I think I found some stuff that was tangentially related that I thought was interesting. Tim Plummer says, boring? Nah, pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, so you're who the channel is for. You know, if you're just into if you're just into one thing, then I think you're just gonna like a you know 20, 30% of the episodes here. It's um 
we do myths, mysteries, and legends, and that could be a lot of different stuff. And look, the Cicada 3301 Internet Mystery couldn't be any more different than the Michigan Dog Man or the Virginia Alien Incident. I mean, these things are all over the place, but I, that's, I like that stuff. That's, that's kind of how my brain is anyway. It's, 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 it's wacky in there. It's a dark place. Jen is down there nodding. You know, your brain's kind of scrambled too down there, dear. And she's like, of course, she knows. Danny N says, I'm a pretty boring guy. This channel is for me. Danny, if you're here, you're not boring. Caesar V or Caesar the Fifth. I'm going to go Caesar the Fifth. Caesar. Um, wants a heckle versus crab cat game. We, we do have a hecklefish uh, card game coming very, very shortly. Still, the artwork is being designed now. It looks great. I think, I think, um, let me see, Jen, did you, you showed some of the artwork last week, I think, right? For the card game. Maybe we'll show, a, if you have a new card or two, maybe we could show them tonight. She's making a face and that, I know what that face means. That face means, I don't know how to get the files right at this minute. And I really don't want to try. That's what that face is. She didn't like that either. Uh, Melanie Cooling Ridge, uh, Virginia, as Hecklefish would say. Yes, he, he would say that. He would say that. Um, MDS has a question for Jen, which we'll get to later. Uh, wants to know, how did Apollo 15 get through the Van Allen belt? She'll come on in a minute. We'll, uh, well, she'll break it down for you. Cheapest big spender. Thank you for the $5. Waiting to hear what Gino had to say about the Canadian wildfires last week. My Hecklefish is on the way. Gino will be up in a little bit with Gino Story Hour coming up in just under 10 minutes. And um, Cheapest Big Spender, did you get a notification about your hecklefish? I only know they're shipping because Victoria told me. So are you guys getting actual notifications from Juniper or somewhere? That would be awesome if you are. There's Mike Barra, 499. Holy SH, I think I just got a huge hit about Mars from this episode. The repeating image thing of the Holy Grail. The stereogram, Mike, is a hit. A hint about Mars in the stereogram. I have to go back and look at it. I don't know. I, I you guys know what the stereograms are, right? The thing where you kind of you look at, you stare at the pattern cockeyed, and then you see it. And for some reason, I always love those. I always love those. I'll I, honestly, I'll go on Reddit and there's a Reddit thread just dedicated to them. And I'll just cockeyed my way for an hour. Just, just looking at, Oh, look, it's a camel. Oh, look, it's lube. Like I'll just go through all of them. Uh, J H 20 bucks. The episode was fascinating. Learned a lot. It shows how much I do not know about computers. I, and they go way, way deeper. There was, I mean, I couldn't even, the, the, Pattern the the pattern is the same with the three different years or seasons or whatever the pattern is the same, but the the challenges get more and more intense. Like really, the first couple anyone can solve if you just thought about it for a second. You open the image in a text editor. That's that's it. That got, that's how that was the first solution, and then um, Tiberius. Claudius Caesar, I almost said James Tiberius Kirk, but that's a different Tiberius. Caesar is the hint to the Caesar cipher. And so it's, anyone can get that far. The later challenges, they're bananas that you need to download and compile your own tool set. And you have to write scripts. It, it, it really started to become a very specific person they were looking for. Contaminated is back for $5. Uh, Goat Kiss Mirathosonabka is Wayne's middle name. Adopted Wayne. Very funny, Tammy. Avatar guy yells Star Trek. He's just yelling Star Trek into the, into the void. Uh, another notification, celebrate the first super chat from Gracius. Thank you, Gracius. And celebrate the first super chat from Max Maximus. Maybe these notifications are new, but that's cool that they're there. <laughs> Michael Forna's magic eye is easy for me because I can just take out my contact lenses. Yeah, there are some people that can't see it. 
And uh, that's that's interesting to me. Let me look at Jenny. Jenny, can you see the Magic Eye pictures? Pictures. I, it was a yes or no, and she's going into a story. You know how she is. She'll be she'll be up later, and she'll tell us all about it. But I think that she's she's like the type of personality that would have trouble with it because because she, she's a puzzle solver. Like I like I, I told you that I'm not. I, if there's a puzzle in a game, I'm annoyed. She'll sit and solve puzzles for fun. She's one of those, you know, puzzle cube and the Sudoku and all that. I don't know how to do any of that. I don't know why anyone would do that. Like when I'm turning off my brain, I don't want to engage it in that. I want to engage it in alcohol and then in video games. Sounds way cooler than that. But she doesn't do the alcohol of the game. She does the puzzles. So I think she would struggle with the magic eye because she has puzzle-solving focus. Or me, I just I just cross-eyed at it. Just like I'm looking for the sailboat. You know, I don't have that puzzle-solving patience or focus. Brian Pickle says magic eye pictures were annoying. That's fine. It just, it just hit me. Do you remember the magic eye kid was it? Was it chasing Amy or was it mall rats? It was mall rats, I think. The magic eye kid couldn't see the sailboat. Uh, 08 AOC. Uh, if you like puzzles, play Portal. I hate puzzles, 08, but Portal was was awesome. I love that game. I haven't played the Portal 2. If there's a three, I'm not aware of it. Joe Little, was that a clerk's reference? It was a Kevin Smith reference. Mall rats was Kevin Smith. Um It's a schooner, Jimmy D. So Jimmy D saw it. Chelsea it was mall rats. Ben Affleck with a crazy role in that one. That's going back to long ways. TF to observer, the cake is a lie. I think that that's a portal reference, right? Ready for cake? Yeah, it's got to be portal. But, but for portal fans, the. A couple of the songs from the game, from the first game, I have in, in a in a Spotify playlist that I play. You know, the doing science and all of that. What was it? Aperture Science. I have those songs in my playlist. Stephanie Claire, how about the Paula's Dead conspiracy? I covered that. Um, just a chapter, not a full story, but I covered that um a couple of months back. I forget what episode. Rico, where's Space Panda? I I don't know. But I, I contacted his agent not too long ago. Electric Sheeple is there. Hecklefish's cover of My Way is easily the best rendition by a marine animal since Sid Ficious in 1978. Oh, my goodness. Apologize for that. This is clearly not a professional operation. Uh, I did like Sid Ficious' uh, version of that, though. All right, a lot of, lot, of, lot of cake action in the chat. There's Seamus for 25. Uh, Thursdays with Y Files and After Files is my fave. Teasers on future episodes. Well, next week is Lemuria, with, uh, which is the sunken continent, which um, there is some scientific evidence of, which is interesting. And then after that, I have, I don't know. I don't know what's next. Um, Jen and Victoria will be up here and they will, they tell me what's next. There's Mike D for 501. No question. Just a thanks to you, Jen, Gino, Vicky, and the rest of the crew. While you're working hard, please know you're making people happy. I appreciate that, Mike. That's why we're here. Um, I got I got another email today that was, I don't know how many, how long it was. Maybe it was a, a million pages, some, somewhere like that, a couple million pages of, of just explaining all of this stuff about, about a conspiracy, about... Epstein's involved and there's Clinton's, but there's also the Bushes and all kinds of stuff. And there's files attached. And I'm the only one, he says, I'm the only one that can solve this and bring justice to this. So I don't write back to those anymore because look, I talk to a fish. I don't, I can't, I'm not a journalist. Um, this channel is for fun. I'm not here to solve anything. You know, in my research, if I can, 
If I can solve something or explain something, that's really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to explain, I'm trying to make these stories relatable to just regular people who are like me, who like the mysteries and the myths and the legends, but they're not really like obsessed with them. You know, it's, I don't, I don't watch a lot of conspiracy content. I do enjoy it, but I mean, I don't seek it out. You know, I'll do it for work, but otherwise I'm not really, and don't spend a lot of my downtime on, on that stuff. So if you have a, a manifesto that you want to get out into the world, I would say just call the news, just call the media. And if it's interesting, they'll report on it. I, you know, I'm not your guy. If your manifesto, if you've got a story in there, if it's a decent script with a couple of jokes, then I'll do it. I'll even send you a couple of shekels for your work, but otherwise I'm not the guy. I talked to a fish. Travel vets there 20. Can you do an episode on the mysteries of the deep, underwater UFOs, prehistoric creatures, et cetera? That's a good idea, travel vet. Have an interesting video slash video analysis that someone did on um, UFO that they found in the ocean. I think it, it might just be with Google Maps, but it was kind of cool. Giant UFO he found that kind of dug a trench around the ocean. So that that's that's coming up sometime after uh, Gino Story Hour. Which, speaking of, I mean, well, I think first we got to do we got to do a giveaway, right? Um, but before we do the giveaway, maybe Jen, if you can. Okay. I guess that's me. Hello everyone. How are we doing? So let's do a couple of other super chats. Uh, Mike and Murph for $5. Thank you for a mysterious and fascinating show tonight. Thoroughly enjoyed it until next week. Thank you, Mike. Much and Murph. Much appreciated. I found JB Maps for 777. I found tonight's topic very interesting. I just wish it had a better ending, but true is true. Hey AJ, how about two streams a week? <laughs> well, JB Maps, if you are a Patreon member, we do a Patreon chat before the premiere on Thursdays, and then we do another AMA on Friday mornings at nine. Pacific Standard Time. So you get a lot more AJ. Uh, so it's a very right. cool, very cool little thing. And we're all on there too. Not that. Hi, Linda. Linda Seals says, hi, Gino. Hi, Jen. Hi, Victoria. Hello. Let's see. Oh, there he is. What? You're talking about the Patreon, which is a great way to support the channel. It is. So I just throwing it up there so you can see what it looks like. What what did I miss? Someone wanted more oh, two streams a week. <laughs> yeah, Patreon members get two in addition to this. And JB Maps, you you can turn your camera on and jump up there. There's there's enough room really for everybody to, to jump on the stream. So AJ, this, the binary code on the t-shirt is the text of the first letter that was well, on why would you? Why would you say that though? Because you said that it meant something and I should tell people. Why wouldn't you I just let up. them do it? Why wouldn't you just let them solve it? She said that it's because we she's up. a puzzle solver. She can't, she, she needs to solve it. I don't That's see the magic eye, by the way. You see the magic eye? No, I can't see him. Victoria, can you see the mat? You can't see it? Gina? Negative. Depends where I'm at in my smoking um, day. Yeah, you get your smoke on, it's probably easier to see it. You know what, Jenny, next time you start to have a migraine, t try it because when, you're, when your eye gets goes all cockeyed, that maybe that's an opportunity that you can see the schooner. Oh, that's a good point. Maybe so. Rabbit L can't see the magic eyes either. Colorado kid, spoiler alert. Yeah, she's not um, super great on like surprises and stuff like that. Like, uh, we've never opened presents on Christmas Day. Christmas Day is usually for cleaning up all the, the wrapping paper from the previous week. <laughs> I mean, Bonnie and Jerry don't watch the show anymore, right, Jenny? So Bonnie, when you send her a gift that says don't open until Christmas, but you're sending it two weeks earlier, 
That shit gets open that night. I'm telling you, that night. So, you had said, I'm sure it says something, and Jennifer Victoria will explain what it is when they come up later. So well, I did. please don't solve the, the puzzle that's in the video. I don't even, I didn't even see the puzzle in the video. That's right. So. All right, so it's time for a giveaway. What do you want to do for your word? word? Should it be, should Camel the word lube. be, Jen, Jen spoils it? Camel lube. Camel lube. You think, we should be able to get lube through the sensors, right? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, if you're new here, here's how it works. Type camel lube in the chat. Tyler, no spaces. It's got to be camel lube is one word. And then platypus, that's 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 hecklefish is a safe word, but that that's not gonna work. And then we'll pick someone randomly. The computer will pick somebody Well, the, the Pluto's eagle can't see the magic eyes because he has uh retinitis pigmentosa. Jen, do you have that? No. I don't think that's funny. Why is Victoria laughing? That's not funny. <laughs> there you go. Camel lube. Uh, Katya Simpson says camel love. That will not work. That is funny. I can though. see, though, those photos that, like, it's two different pictures. Like a vase or faces. You know, you can those. See those? I, I can see those. Put them up close to your eyeballs. And but you no, can see I those. Can just, I can just see the different, like, views of it. But I can't see the magic eye. Deidre Green, any chance for a steganography channel? I don't know how many views that would get. <laughs> uh, Nathan Manning says camel doob for Gino. Uh, Paul thinks camel toe will work. That will not work. Campbell's soup is incorrect. Um, Carmel lube will not work. That sounds delicious. A steganography <laughs> channel, probably not. I mean, I would do more crypto cryptogrammy, cryptology, crypt cryptology stuff. If people were into it, but we have to see how the video, how was the video doing? Where's the rank? It was, it was five. Oh, five. Good, it moved up. Five? No, okay. it's six now, but yeah. it's doing good. Camel lube platypus will not work. Camel lullaby. Camel lust, says Troy White. Uh, <laughs> anal ease. Boy, some, some, of you, some of you guys pay attention. Fish lube. Is where camel cigarettes no but i just reading that makes me want a nicotine cam hole lube oh my goodness good heavens oh here's here's jen's favorite uh, username hey greasy uncle pig tits is here <laughs> for 20 canadian china lasered maui in retaliation for the massive flooding caused by weather modification attacks from the u.s yeah i've heard that that's a theory that's going around. And we were going to maybe talk about that tonight, but people are, are still dying. No. So we're going to hold off a little bit on that. You know, I've, I've, I saw kids' bodies in the street, so I'm not ready. Yeah. No. More fires started today on one of the other islands, Oahu. Uh, uh, crazy. North Rock Mystically. I like anyone whose username is an adverb. Still waiting for details on when you are going to do a premiere at a theater in Vegas. We're going to do drive-in pretty soon. Ish. Camel toe boob, Matthew? Heavens. Camel UB? Annalise? Mm -hmm. Sybil? Thomas Waters wants me to cover mermaids? Oh, no! <laughs> That's terrible! I mean, camel taco. That's funny. Um, I'll do it if I have to, but I but I don't want to. Basique, are you saying canal goob? Because I read it as sea anal goob. But I don't think that's what you meant. Camelabra. <laughs> All right, so we're we're gonna do um we're gonna do a premiere at uh driving out here. I'd like to find a way. 
to make it a prize for one or two or a couple of people that we can fly them out and put them up. Victoria has a spare room that could we can save some money that way. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe the winter tonight we'll get flown out here and you can stay in Victoria's spare room. <laughs> Mr. Brush says Gino is the Wi Files red band. Hmm. Well, we're about the same weight, I guess. Oh, <laughs> I don't know who got insulted on that one. Um, and I, you can't really, you know, red band gets a lot of crap, but without red band, there is no Rogan. And so many other podcasts as well. Yep. You really changed the, the landscape of uh, podcasting in, in Los Angeles. Their electric sheeple is there. Sweet fancy Moses. I'm going to be in a new tax bracket over here. Taxes are theft. Taxes are theft. Wi Fi store, uh, story idea. Gino's Chino's for the man about town looking for a style that's out of this world. <laughs> I can dig it. Uh, Sinister Super Spy. What is hump juice? We'll have to remember <laughs> that. We'll have to re remember that for a commercial that. Katie's leaking hump juice. We've got to do something. I don't know. General, general, make it work. Camel clutch. Because, I mean, because Gertie's got a hump issue coming up, medical issue that's very funny. Uh, Kraken reports his camelingus. That's, that's not, don't laugh. Don't laugh at that, <laughs> lady. That'll, that just encourages this bad behavior. Camelingus. Uh, remember that as well. That's another joke that we can not let the sponsors know about. Gerthead999. Cicada is part of the Learn to Code community, I guess. Very interesting episode. I learn something new every week. Thanks, Wi Files. You're welcome, Dirthead. Thanks for supporting the channel. I appreciate that. And Dirthead is wearing a Wi Files t shirt in yep. his. He is. Yeah. He's got a heck of his shirt on. Yeah. I got an email today or maybe it was a comment on a video where some where two hecklefish fans were in Singapore airport in Singapore and they were like hey they wound up having a drink at the airport bar I love that, I love that. Uh, Uncle Dew says drain the hump that's that won't work Matt Montgomery she just want me for my hump juice internet overdose says Epstein didn't kill himself uh, that will not win although that is very true uh, Gertie lubes you. <laughs> Camel a trois, says Michael Miller. Good heavens. TA, why are you lubing camels? <laughs> I don't know. Pump the, the hump, says Photo the Fox. The hump was stuck in the head hole. The, we had a hump stuck in a head hole situation. Yeah. So he's getting camel lube to, to kind of grease the hump, to slide it out of the head hole. Right. Right? Makes sense. There's Lamont Crampston. <laughs> Juicy tip, human. My wife just thought of who AJ reminds her of. Steve off American Dad. I don't know. Is that a compliment? I, I don't know that one. Uh, sort of. I mean, he's funny. <laughs> okay. He's a, he's a handsome man. Lamont also oh. hates it when his hump gets stuck. I never. Had By the way, you. Sorry. Go ahead. Well, you've also gotten called Steve from American Dad, so that's the father and the son that, that uh, people thought you looked like. Oh. Hey, Steve. There's Camel Toe again. Camel Greasing Hump only makes it bigger. I, I thought it was good. I thought the joke was good. Um, Mike is Gertie a one-hump camel, of course. Greasy camel boob will not win. There's Greg's 10.20 for $10. I heard Hecklefish killed Space Panda in a drunken rage. Any truth to that episode, Worthy? I, we have to look into that. I never heard that. Uh, Grendel, I, I, that's funny. I can't read that, though. It's, I might have some kids watching. Lunacy, the camel lube is the lube that heals all conditions of camels. Camel shalub will not win, although I thought he was great in the monk. 
TJ, Lake City Quiet Pills, please. Yeah, um, I was on Twitter talking to some folks about that. Hang on, I'm just, I'm just putting my handle in there if you want to follow. That, that's, that's another story that I'd like to do. I think it's too intense for the Y Files. And I don't know if it really even fits on true crime because it's a mystery. There's just some, I could probably tell it without getting into the CP part of it because that's not the, that's not the, you guys know when I say CP, you know what I'm talking about? Okay. That's not the main part of the story, but that's where, um, that's where we find the, the main character comes from that world. So I don't know how to tell it yet. And it's not like I haven't thought about it because it's a very interesting mystery. And it has nothing to do with any of that stuff. It's if you, if you pull, if you change that CP to something else, like camelube.com or something, you could, you're a 13 year old could watch it and it's fine. But, um, but I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, JJ Pearson says Camelot, it's only a model. Nicely done. And we've got Ted Dag for $50. Won't, won't you tip me? You know I don't believe you when you say you don't got money. Won't, won't you tip me? You know I can't believe it when you say that I'm not funny. I write too many jokes just to amuse you folks. You better super chat me or I'll just keep singing. Won't you tip me, human? Won't you tip me? Oh, 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 oh. Won't you tip me, human? Won't you tip me? Oh, 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 oh. Victoria is a gal dang national treasure. Whoa. Tags. <laughs> Slipping 50 in the G string there. All right. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> All right. You're at 1165 entries in Camel Lube. Uh, camel four toes will not work. Why are the lube cicadas screaming? Says Thorne. I don't know, Clarice. What do you think, Jenny? Do you want to choose or do you or or a Let's couple more? Super Let's do it. Let's do Let's it. Do it. All right. Get your camel lubes in. Here we go. Not camel prod. Cindy had braces. <laughs> there we go. Amanda, Greg, here's Kendra, Eon, Envoy, Maggie, Rob, Sybil, Matthew, Mr. Birdie, Reb, Vodka, Trish G, Hot Rod, Dijonix. The winner is Ryan. Yay! Just Ryan. Ryan, congratulations. You won, um, what, a two-night stay in Victoria's spare room? <laughs> or a hacklefish plushie. Oh, he can choose between. Okay. No, he, can no, he can't. He won a hacklefish he... plushie. Okay, so how does he get her address, though? Does he go on Discord? He goes on Discord and puts in a ticket. We'll get with him. All right, go on dis put a ticket, and she will get with you. Keith Eichley for 10. That episode gave me a hint of dopamine for sure. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Me. Me. Jen, when they're, they're no longer the knights who say me, they're, they're now the knights who say... There she goes. That's that's going to be on the highlight reel. Now, uh, by the way, you could see clips of this um, mess. You could see clips of this mess on uh, on the Wi Files backstage. I usually get them up there on Friday mornings if I'm not too tired. So if you just if you just want to like binge watch Gino Story Hour. You can do that at the Wi Files backstage. Norwell Tacos thinks Jen is a keeper, no doubt. Thank you. Jason Blunty likes it. Guarasar, LOL. TF2 Observer requires a shrubbery, <laughs> but not too a nice one, but not too expensive. 
Hump Scrubbin music album coming out. It didn't mm-hmm. Hump Scrubbin do the one I get knocked down and I get up again? Was that? Yeah. That was Hump. That was Hump Scrubbin. Hump Scrubbin. Right? <laughs> All right. Hold your camel lubes. Ryan is the winner. So. And. So now that that means it's time for Gino's story hour. Tell me something I don't know. Where's Gino? Oh shit, where he go? That means I could have a nicotine gum to chase my nicotine tablet that I just know. Oh shit, where he go? Whee! Gino, you're running your own media this week? All right. Gino's almost a full professional. He's got his show prep in, but the camera's, but the mic's off. Well, we're going to see if this works. We're going to try it for the first time. Uh, I apologize. We're going to have to. Tell me something I don't know. Oh, there it is. It's there. Tell me something I don't know. Where's Gino? Oh, shit. Where he go? We got a little intro now as well. Oh, boy. It's live stream amateur hour again. Hey. So. Uh, from 30 metric tons all the way up to 65 metric tons, which is 143,000 pounds. Um, so uh, what we just looked at was the beginning of the movie, The Meg. Of course, that wasn't real, but we are going to get into some real videos. The way I uh, put the, this video together um, was to show some of the evidence that's out there and some of the stuff that if it's, if it's real or not, uh, of course, we're, we're not sure. And a lot of them uh, also could be other types of uh, sharks that are out there that uh, are, are maybe aren't identified yet or, uh, or are identified. So what we're looking at here is a map of where the Megalodon teeth have been found. So the Megalodon uh, was roaming the entire Earth and it, they found teeth everywhere. Now, it was mainly a coastal shark. So... Uh, since the waters were uh, higher up uh, during the, the last 20 million years, a lot of these teeth were found, uh, you know, in the uh, uh, on the land, uh, especially again on, as you can see, on the east coast and the west coast of um, of North America. So uh, the uh, megalodon used to go uh, through sets of teeth. It could go through a full set of teeth um, in in a whole week. So we're looking at a megalodon tooth there. They were typically around seven inches long, um, but they did uh, uh, find some that were uh, even bigger. Uh, we'll see in the, the video that, that's coming coming up here. Now, uh, their bite was 40,000 pounds per square inch uh, in uh, comparison to a T-Rex who had a 12,000 pound per square inch. Uh, you know, that, that's a sissy little bite compared to to uh, the megalodon, uh, humans have about 160 pounds per square inch. So 40,000 pounds per square inch. Uh, you could imagine the kind of things that it, it could eat. It, what was its diet? I mean, basically anything it wants. So uh, <laughs> it would eat anything that would, uh, it existed um, at the same time as great white sharks. So it would eat great white sharks. It would eat basically every other kind of uh, predator that was in the ocean and uh, it was endothermic so it was also warm-blooded like uh, great white sharks are it's a type of warm blood uh, I don't know the scientific difference between all, uh, all, uh, all of that but uh, I guess it's a type of warm-blooded uh, fish so here we're looking at um, uh, the largest uh, tooth ever found Again, I can't say for sure that this is that was real or not, or, or if it was debunked. A lot of people in the comments said that wasn't real. However, that w- looked exactly like the the other megalodon teeth that that were found. Now, interesting enough, uh, they found megalodon teeth uh, in the '70s that they carbon dated to only about 10,000 years ago. So that was that was really just a little bit of the difference uh, between. Uh, them saying that they thought they were extinct uh, up to 3 million years ago. So maybe they were extinct 10,000 years ago, or maybe they're still out there chomping up on, on, on stuff down there and we just don't, don't know about it yet. Um, so uh, that, let me go back here. I think we have some audio on this one. Um, you can see from, from, the, um, 
from the video here, the bite. So something bit that whale apart and there's nothing else in the ocean that could do that. Even a great white wouldn't have that big of a bite radius. So this next story also ha has some audio. It's an interesting one because so the, um, uh, uh, it was a great white shark that Australian uh, science researchers were uh, decided to track. So they slapped a, a tracker on it and followed, followed it around. And then all of a sudden it disappeared and it got dragged all the way down 1900 uh, feet into the ocean, which no shark goes to. So, um, and also it was able to record its temperature with a long its pole, temperature at the time. The brave scientists placed very high, which means on it was probably sharks. in the geotags can reveal vital information the about the migration pattern and movement in the ocean. The first shark they had the opportunity to tag was named shark alpha, a huge nine foot female. That was a huge shark. nine foot shark. The that shark was, was roughly three meters in length. Nothing messing with a huge, the great white shark like that. 2.25 miles from where it was tagged. The shark so, so what they're saying here is that the, the tracker all of a sudden washed up on shore about three miles from where they originally tagged it. They were watching it, um, you know, pro where, what its progression was through, through the ocean. And then all of a sudden it just disappeared. Shark, on the other hand, was nowhere to be seen. There were no dead sharks on the beach, no body parts floating in the sea nearby. The geotags were not easy to take off. It would require special human assistance or a forceful flesh splitting tug to get off. Confused, the scientists took a look at the data in the geotag and it only led to more mysteries, not answers. Around midnight of Christmas Eve, 2003, the alpha shark was swimming in the Southern Australian sea. No signs of abnormality until so it's just having a nice Christmas Eve course, day before plunging deep into the ocean at a speed and depth that is very unusual for a great white shark. Shark Alpha stopped at a depth of 1,900 feet or 579 meters. Sharks don't usually go that deep into the ocean. It was 1,000 feet deeper than they would normally go. Just a few seconds after arriving at 1,900 feet, the temperature of the geotag jumped up to 78 degrees Fahrenheit from 46 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a jump from 7.7 .7 degrees Celsius to 25.5 degrees Celsius. For the so that if something's uh, number one, if it's going down that way, it's being brought down. And of course, the lower you get in the ocean, the colder it's going to be. So for it to raise its temperature um, is really interesting. It means it must have been in the stomach or something. I was unfamiliar with Fahrenheit. This could only mean that something ate shark alpha. The scientists looked at each other in disbelief. What could have eaten a nine foot shark? Shark Alpha wasn't exactly small or weak. She was an. Okay, so I'm gonna skip ahead because that's the story of it. Who knows what, what, what ate it? Investigation, the age. So this next one's interesting because it comes to us from a NASA satellite photo where they were um, looking at a problem with algae that you could see the dark spots that, that are in the water here. And as they were working on this problem, they spotted something else in the satellite picture that they could see looked very much like a, a shark. Agent who was studying the swarm uh, noticed something out in the water. Okay, kind of a speck. Yeah, well, it, yeah, at this resolution, it's a speck. When they zoomed in, though, they got this. Yeah, it's a little fuzzy, but I'd say that's a shark. And not just any shark. If you look at this other satellite photo I brought, it was taken at the same resolution of a school bus yard in nearby Sao Paulo. Now, those are 40 foot buses. And when you compare them next to the first photo, I'd say that's a 70 foot shark. All right, let's ask you out. So uh, we, when you look at that next to that um, bus, you can see that it's, it, you know, way bigger, almost double the size of a bus. So what would make that shadow out there? Uh, again, I'm not saying that that this is definite proof. I'm just saying they got some pictures that are interesting. Uh, here's another one that came up on Google Earth. Now, um, this this person didn't have any thought, isn't that had nothing to compare it to. Footage is blurry, and all it shows are two large marine creatures in the water. But shows uh, two two uh, big big ones in there. Now this this is uh, off of the Easter Island. Um, 
And uh, again, another Google Earth. So I tried to categorize it. We're starting with this, the satellite pictures. Um, so this is showing you for, you know, uh, uh, how big it is, a uh, boat that's also out there. Um, and then it's going to zoom in and show you what the satellite saw. So that, you know, is a, a, a freight, freight uh, you know, big freight boat. And this shark is at least as big as that that boat was. So the next one that we're going to look at here is um, off the coast of uh, New England. It's uh, uh, was uh, captured uh, by uh, on a boat where there was a whole bunch of people. Look how small the people are compared to how big that shark is. So there's uh, guesses that this is what a baby megalodon would look like because the baby megalodons would be up about uh, 15 to 20 feet. And that's about how big that shark is. So in, interesting to see that right off the coast of uh, uh, off the coast of Massachusetts. Okay, and go forward a little here. Um, okay, and so the next one um, is one that uh, let's put on the audio for this one. Who were out observing sharks off the coast of Australia. In the video, suddenly a Australia. huge shark came and ate a fish. The biologists didn't bat an eye as nothing was out of ordinary in the video. The shark wasn't that huge or anything, but after they saw the video, they pointed out a jut in the flap of the shark. This distinct jut was only found on the bodies of the megalodon. So there's only one logical explanation here that it could have been a baby Meg. So that's an interesting one because they, there is some video proof there. The uh, Megalodon only had, was the only shark that has that, that jut in its fin. So again, that was uh, called a baby, uh, possibly a baby Megalodon. Uh, the next one that we're going to uh, is again from a drone footage there's two orcas in the uh water here so you can see the two orcas uh in the middle of the screen circled but um right above it and you can see how big they are but right above it you could see there is something that is four times the size what? of those orcas so let me go back to that one because it's quick yeah that was crazy so you see those orcas but up top there you could see wow. something real big. You guys, uh, you guys cannot can't see my pointer, right? No. Where I'm circling. Okay. No. Um, okay. So yeah, but right up top there, you can see something something huge. Next one is another one that's uh, filmed from above, and it's there's a blue whale, which we know is the biggest thing in the ocean, and swimming right next to it is something really big. So you see that oh, right wow. there to the left. So, uh, so that's an interesting one that that drone footage has has caught. The next one we're going to look at is uh, a, a great one because it was a naval uh, coast guard exercise uh, that uh, they were doing in Brazil, where they were showing how hey we got to rescue this guy monster ever. So it's hard to see. They'll they'll show it show it again here. Uh, but right there at the top, top right, you could see something huge just moving past them. And from the looks of it, that's a 60 foot shark. This next one um, is a uh, crazy diver goes down in a cage and uh, they got some some film on them. You'll never catch me going down in a cage uh, here. Here it's uh, this right here. And something huge just swims right on by by him that you could sort of see, uh, but you could at least see the outline of it, how big it is as it goes by. This one hard for me to believe, of of course, because that to me even looks bigger than sixty feet. But interesting uh, enough video. Are there any juts? Uh, you, you can't. You can't really see the the side fins. You only see the dorsal fin on that that one. Now uh, the next one uh, happened on an oil rig. So 
the oil rig, they got robots that go down there and they're doing stuff. And usually they wouldn't even be paying attention in an oil rig because they're paying attention to what. Uh, what? Uh, that's oh, it. <laughs> I guess we got cut off there. But uh, that one was about uh, uh, 60 feet long, I believe. Uh, do I have that written down in the notes? <laughs> I think we got cut off a, a second too early on that one. Okay, so this next one um, was called the Marianas Trench Black Monster. Uh, it was taken in uh, Japan waters and uh, near the Marianas Trench, which is the uh, deepest part of the ocean. And um, what they did here, they were um, they wanted to see uh, what kind of uh, predatory uh, marine animals would come if they stuck a bunch of bait down at the uh, bottom of the ocean here. Now, of course, um, they got what they, they thought was going to happen. A whole bunch of sharks came, came by. Um, however, once those sharks came by, they were, they were quickly dispersed because this guy, Big Mama, decided to come into town here. What? So this... So they made it so that you couldn't get the the bait out of the trap down there that you could just kind of smell it um and uh this is they caught this one on video it takes up obviously the whole camera screen here um and again uh the estimates on this one are were somewhere around 60 60 feet as well which would put it at the larger largest range of the uh megalodon and if that's not a megalodon what is it you know, um, there's uh, uh, there are different types of uh, uh, sharks that are out there that it, that it could have been. Uh, I think uh, the 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 um, the number one theory on that one is it could be called a sleeper shark, which I've never heard of, but I'm certainly not going anywhere near where that's sleeping. Uh, so. This next one's a really interesting one, probably my favorite of all of them. Uh, this, these guys are in an armed submarine down un under under the water, and all of a sudden they get a visitor. So, I got some audio on this one. Okay, uh, still in the belly. Yeah, still yeah, in yeah. The belly. I'm not gonna... Oh, what? When she rolls over the oh, oh you see nothing. Wow. <laughs> My goodness. Where's my phone? <laughs> so gets a meal and then decides it's coming back. Whoa. Look at the width of that thing. This is a monster. She is huge. And now she's belly side. I can't do anything. No, no. We're armed, but mm. there was a young male that one that went away. Okay, she's not here now. Oh, oh, there she is. Oh yeah, but I'm not gonna shoot her. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> my goodness! What? You see that, that eye? Is what? So it's interesting because again they go uh this is a huge thing uh it's bigger than our, our whole entire submarine and they're going uh we're not going to shoot it <laughs> so i guess they had some kind of weapons uh with them i mean seeing that eyeball that's uh, uh that's terrifying yeah she's gonna eat the gun she's trying what? to whoa what Nice positioning by the sub captain. <laughs> this is fantastic. Wow, look at the size. I mean, this female, she's definitely bigger than the sub is long. Yeah. I love how casual these guys are. I'd be freaking <laughs> out. That thing is right knocking out my, my, my back door, you know? Just all no. Okay. Oh wait, yes it is. Okay. Laser is on. So it's so that's a really interesting one, probably my favorite. Uh, this is another one that was caught on the uh, east coast uh, off of um, off of Canada. So uh, up in the colder waters, this guy is sure that he found uh, megalodon. 
This is a short, short one. This time, it wasn't just any video. This man from Canada posted a video claiming that he found the Megalodon off the coast of Canada. So don't don't know about that one. It, certainly nothing to compare it to right there, but that was a, a big animal in there. This guy is in a kayak. I can't even imagine kayaking and finding a Megalodon. One so. kayaker got the fright of their life when they encountered a massive, unidentified creature swimming near them. Some people suggested it could have been a Megalodon. The YouTuber that uploaded the footage, Monster Shark TV, compared the 14-foot measurements of the kayak to the sea creature, estimating that it could have been 42 feet long. They believe... So, uh, it's also said that, that that could have been a, a basking uh, shark, but... Um, but Again, if you're in a kayak, you could be swallowed with that kayak hole. Um, so this next one is crazy. Don't let your kids go anywhere unsupervised. Uh, these these kids are out playing in in the water. No, there's no no one no lifeguard out there. There's there's no parents out there, and uh, a drone from overhead catches this uh, uh, on camera now that's what it looks like when it's deep pretty deep under the water so so here's the kids playing around it's not really near them yet and now it comes up to the top and look, look at this uh you could see from from this drone footage that it you know dwarfs these these kids so if these kids are four feet that that you know got to be a, a 40 40 to 50 foot shark And so this next one um, uh, is the last one I'm, I'm going to play for you guys. It is definitely not the, the Megalodon, uh, but uh, really interesting uh, CGI. I mean, it's so real looking though. Crazy. <laughs> well, it's not what you want to see. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me something I don't know. Where's All right, Gino? Here he goes. Where he go? Gino Story Hour. Thanks for listening. Right. If you like that story, uh, please go to capemancoffeeco.com and use the promo code Y-Files and get yourself some Java 51, the tastiest blend in the entire universe. Nice. Nice. All right. You know, very prepared tonight. Yes. Everybody loved it. I'm not saying... Uh, there are megalodons or they, there aren't, but I'll never be the one to find out because I'm not going anywhere near where any of that stuff could be. Mm -mm. Have, have fun on your cruise, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh. We found a couple of, couple of freaky videos if you guys want to see. Let me see yeah. if I can. Just a couple that that they came across. Um, this one's called. Uh, is that going to be big enough to see? Yeah, this one's called Manic and Blinks. And I saw the title and I was like, eh. Then I watched a video and I went, oh. <laughs> That looked like a blank. If anyone has seen debunking on these, let me know. But that one looked like a link for show.
right? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> going on there? What is going on? I think it's just bullshit. Like, like, Noral Taco says it's fake. Okay. Sauce, sauce it up. We've got a man has a ghost encounter in the gym. Es que pasaron cosas muy extrañas, la madre. Hasta una, ma pasó, hasta una máquina se movió. Vea, mira, explíqueme eso. Vea, sí, dos cuerdas y. Yo, ¿Qué vas a ver, mami? La otra quieta, o sea, no podemos decir que es el aire y ni que hay ventilación ni nada de esas sí, vainas. Eso es como y en raro. plena luz del día, ¿quién dice que estas maricadas pasan en plena luz del día? No, mire, la luz. Fue fruta, fue fruta. Mire, mire. Y de esto hay una segunda toma. Ahorita le, le muestro la segunda toma. Y hay cosas que no se ven en la primera. Échale ojo. Ahí. Mira eso. Mira eso. Uy, ¿eso qué pasó? ¿Por qué eso y se esa, mueve? Esa vaina es pesadísima, eso es pesadísimo. Sí. Sí, parece que eso es una energía muy mala. ¡Ay, Dios mío! ¿Qué le pasó? ¡Mamá! Mire. ¡No, Dios! ¡No, mi que... no oh, eso no es normal! Sí, yo sé ¡Eso que... no es normal! Sí, ¡No! ¡No! ¡Mío! ¿Qué le pasó? ¡Mamá! ¡Muy mala! ¡Ay, Dios mío! ¿Qué le pasó? ¡Mamá! ¡Mire! ¡No, Dios! ¡No, mi que... ¡No! ¡Eso no es normal! ¡Sí, yo sé ¡Eso que... no es normal! Sí, ¡No! 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 Well, here's a different... oh. No, eso no, Cálmese, no, no, pero es que eso no es normal. Cálmese, mami. No, tenemos que sacar una sí. cita. Para eso está muy grande esa vaina, para que la gente nos recomiende qué, qué podemos hacer, algún sí, profesional. Sí, a mí una amiga me dijo de un padre para sacar una cita, no, eso Exacto. no es normal y eso sí. es un segundo piso. Sí, y, sí. y no, y como lo subieron de la pierna, no lo habían podido hasta tirar por esa sí, ventana. Pero no pasa nada, mami, no. cálmese, cálmese. Esta es la segunda toma, esa es ya la segunda. Hay unas cosas que no se ven en la primera toma. No, Hay unas cosas. Mira, mamá, digamos al inicio se ve vea, las cuerdas ahí, pero pille eso. Eso no lo vimos en la primera toma. O sea, sí. eso no se vio en la primera ahí toma. Se ve más. Ahí, está o sea, jalando, estas son está unas más cuerdas que están colgadas sí. a esa estructura y se más duro. Y que sí, la ventana está abierta. O sea, sí, podemos. Oh, Dios mío, eso ya no es. Se ve. Ahí la ola. Sí, no, Dios mío, eso ya no es normal. No, y mire como, no, so, no es terrible, no, sí, no, 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 Dios mío. Entonces. Hay que pedir a alguien que nos recomiende a dónde sí. ir. No, eso no es normal. Hay que ir a un sí, no, alguien, algo. algún profesional que esté viendo este video o alguien que sepa el tema, por favor, dejarlo en los comentarios o, o no sé, alguien que nos pueda decir qué pasó. Who did it? Ese mismo joven fue el que me pasó el video para pues yo mostrárselos a ustedes. Ahí yo estaba, obviamente, ustedes saben que bajo una situación. Hello, a fantasma? <laughs> Couch Cushion says, I wish I could speak Chinese. Uh, you know, the end of it, like where it got pulled, that was a pretty violent, like, you it know, was. if somebody. <laughs> it looked yeah. pretty real. Someone caught a ghost in the doorway on film that they didn't see it when it was there, but they felt it. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Oh, my God. What, Emily? Help. What's wrong? It looks like what's standing behind Jenny. Oh, right. oh she's she's standing, standing behind me. Oh, really? He just moved. I heard him say something. Yeah. All right, Clark oh, says the God. spirits will punish you for skipping leg day. He just said something, that's all. No, 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 no. I saw it. I saw it. Oh. Fuck. No, there was a girl in a blue dress walking towards us in, from that room. She's just feeling it from the room. Jesus Christ. What? Oh my God. What, Emily? Help. No. What's wrong? I, I definitely felt like something was standing there. Yeah. She got freaked out by the ghost. Now that guy was a real medium that was there, right? I've seen him before. I didn't know that. Um, Victoria, Victoria found this one. 
I, I named the file Demon on a Wire. <laughs> what is that? What is that? I don't know. I don't <laughs> Look, that that's somewhere in in South America, I think, oh, right? <laughs> so where, is it? I mean, uh, Peru is experiencing flying aliens that are bulletproof. Yeah. All right. You got, speaking of aliens, I got a couple of alien stuff here. First one, this is um, Iran trying to shoot down a UFO. That's, that's four. Fire. Pretty good. If it's CG, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, UFO in the ocean. Uh, before I play this, uh, since I'm going to play his old video, it's a minute and a half. It's from Secure Team 10 YouTube channel. Might as well give him a shout out. And you can see the sides of it. I mean, there's there's shadowing here. I mean, this looks dug into the sand. Can you hear sand. him? And in the middle of yes. this long path, which again heads over to this area here, which holds some very anomalous items, uh, we see this large circular object and an obvious path or trail created by this object look at this thing zigzagging look at this thing moving and we can follow this thing down all the way down here continues here and goes into this blurred out area how convenient so we'll follow this track back up and it zigzags and now this is very peculiar and you're going to see why here in a second because honestly i don't know how this was created so we have this zigzag pattern carved completely out of the bottom of the ocean soil and it leads up directly to this almost perfectly circular object i mean look at that it's a perfect spherical or saucer shaped object dug in to the soil now what's kind of freaky is that when we measure this thing which we'll do now this object is over two miles in length in diameter I mean, you can see it right here. We use the measuring tool, and here we have it. And we have a total distance of 4.61 kilometers. Before you said it was two miles, I, I, I was like, oh, well, it's a rock that is getting moved around in the ocean, but a two-mile rock. Two-mile long rock. So you, if you started walking across that rock, it would take you an hour to get to the other side. Yeah big that thing was uh, this guy's got his neighbors there's a dinosaur stuck in his neighbors you're not gonna believe this story there's a guy that posted a video claiming the house in front of him is a lab and the dinosaur is trying to get out i don't know what to think about this video he claims the dinosaur is coming out of someone's backyard let me know what you guys think because this video is pretty crazy pay close attention we're back there I saw a head. I swear. There's a dinosaur in that building. It's trying to get out. Uh, but there's a tree block, and I can only see the head. I saw like a mouth like this. I think it's some kind of Tyrannosaurus. Oh, look, look, there it is. There it is. Where is it at? I saw the top of the head right there. I swear. Oh. Look, look, you hear it's trying to get out. You hear him? Oh, shit. It's a whole Tyrannosaurus. See? Look, there's a head right there. 
Oh, where? Dang. Hold on, let me zoom in. Oh, look, there's the head. There's the head right there. Yep. There look. you go. There look. it is. I told you. Now it's hiding behind that tree, but it's trying to get out. I've been telling everybody that there's uh, been dinosaurs locked up in that building for years. I've lived here for two years. I hear the noises at night. And finally, I think it broke the shackles and it's trying to get out of that building. Y'all saw it shake, right? I saw it. I know I ain't the only one. No, I saw it. Adam Boy, get inside. Get inside is a T-Rex loose. <laughs> I mean, this is they cut off the end. This guy cut off the end, but it's it's a it's a crane it's like a crane doing demo on the building is what it was <laughs> so you see it later when it got cut off i was gonna say this is better evidence than, than dinosaur bones <laughs> no one's ever seen a dinosaur bone that's right peru aliens You see it? Uh, they pull the proof. They could fly. More, more Peru activity. <laughs> The aliens were actually people miners get packs. That's people miners. alien from the simpsons what that looked like the alien from the simpsons you found this camilla cabello cabello footage from 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 Jimmy Fallon. Fallon. yeah interesting one do you know where where in, in the interview it is i can't watch uh, that. uh it's, it's it's in the it's in the beginning uh but go like a minute minute in i do like uh, i was in havana and nah, nah. That my heart is a Exercise, I slowed the video down on everything. It really, I think that we might have caught a UFO. And I was debating on showing the video here because I don't want, like, if the aliens trusted me to to be there at that moment, I really, I don't want them to think I'm exploiting them right now. Like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I want the aliens to know this is just, I asked for this kind of. I said, hey, can right. we have the video? This is all on. It's a safe place. Yeah, we, Jimmy we're Fallon, all safe. Tonight Show, we love uh, aliens from other planets. We or welcome ev everybody, Whatever you want to be called. Yeah, exactly. Totally. Yeah, but we have this video of a UFO. This, guys, watch this. Pay attention. Guys, it's crazy. Want... So that's her parents? Do you guys see yeah. that? Yeah, Guys, so here it is in slow motion. Let's take another look at this. One. I slowed this video down, this picture down. What's this? What is that? Guys, and there is another one that comes from the left mountain got to one. behind the we other actually, mountain. We ha we took a screen grab of it, so if you can Guys, see Guys, there's the thing. two. Look there's that. two. That did, does not look like a bird. It's not a phone thing because you see it clearly go from behind the mountain but to like close to the camera to behind another mountain. Guys, I think that the aliens trusted me yes. to capture I think a UFO moment. That, that, that's so if anyone's that's out there for the video. Um, you know, it's interesting because I, I don't think she's lying about that. I think she did no. catch something on video. I don't know what she meant by a phone thing, but, um, but whatever is traveling is traveling at an insane rate of speed there. Because it, it looked like it went behind the mountain it had to be going thousands of miles an hour. 
All right, I've got some uh, I've got some different footage and angles of MH370. If you guys want to see that, some of it's pretty crazy. But first, let me get a couple of super chats out the way because we're two hours in on your clock. And here is Jonathan Dissinger. Dissinger, two hundred dollars. I get pretty freaky. He's a super freak. Like kind of fish you dream about. You got freaky dreams. I get pretty kinky. He's a super freak. But only if you pay me. Gotta pay the fish. I need a tip. I need a tip. I need a tip from you. And you. And you, human. <laughs> you and you and you. Hit the, hit the, hit the super chat. Super chat. Hit the button now. Last week, I asked Jen for dating advice, and she said, just be yourself. That failed. Met a new girl since then, took AJ's advice this time, and told her I was hung like a horse. Worked really well till the end of the night. Need an episode on the love conspiracy or advice from Victoria? Great episode, 3301. Uh, do you have any advice, uh, Victoria, some love advice? Oh, uh, yeah, that's a $500 question. $500 question. Um, can he use his 199 as a sort of like a down payment? So he maybe just 300 more. Okay, that'll work. All right. All right. Uh, thanks for that, Jonathan. Really appreciate the support. Not sure. Agent Wi-Fi is going Gravity Falls route. Trying, trying to keep you guessing. There's trodden and three are in them. One hecklefish slipper and the other a dirty slipper. That's a cool idea. I could see I could see Trodden's feet just trotting around the house in these. Would you, Jenny, would you wear them? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> but I wanted them to like make little noises every time you stepped, but I, I, they told me it might get annoying after a while. It's just ooh, 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 ooh. Ow, ow, ooh. Yes. Ooh, especially with Jenny's heavy walk on those flat feet of hers. Davina Weaver has the answer to the to the cicada puzzle in the video. Be sure to drink your oval team. Uh, I think you I, got I mean, I get it. Gino gets it. The joke. Tori gets, I Jen get gets it. it. I thought it would land better. Davina, I thought the joke would land better. He's, he's got a decoder ring. Got the decoder yeah. ring. And he was very mad. Uh, yes, you were. Yeah. You'll shoot your eye out. We Roan Self uh, Project Circus was GE's weather modification, which ran from 1947 to 1952. The United States Air Force created snowstorms and hurricanes with silver iodide. I read that. I read that they that they seeded the atmosphere with silver to do that. There's white noise for 10, Dudley Town Hill. Is that a suggestion? Yeah, I guess. Look into it. Dudley Town Hill. An abandoned settlement. I love those. Dudley Town, Connecticut is the creepiest abandoned town. The residents of Connecticut know better than plan a visit to the infamous Dudley Town, sometimes spelled Dudley Town, not just because of private property, and they go on to say a lot of words. The area that became known as Dudley Town for its settlement in the 40s, don't care. Um, photos, are you afraid of the dark? Because when it comes to Dudley Town, the darkness is the least of your concerns. The pitch blackness that surrounds this village is nothing compared to the long, disturbing history. This haunting dates all the way back to the 1500s. Oh, yeah, this is a creepy place. I, yeah. I like to visit like this. You know, being from the East Coast, I'm surprised I had never even heard of that. I haven't either. All right, Dudley Town, that's, that's one worth looking into. And where am I? Uh, how Vito Dudek, what do you think about the MH370 situation? I'm going to show you the the images and the video that I got. I don't know. My instincts tells me it's all fake, but I can't find any good info debunking any of it. So we shall see. I, I heard the one. I'll, I'll save it for the videos. I heard a theory. 
There is Spiral Mine, 1999. Well, I'll be a son of a fish. That's a nice tip. Excellent show. Hints? Message for you, sir. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Spiral Mind. Um, I hate to disappoint you on your birthday, but no hints. No hints. Everything you need to know is... All right, I'll give you one hint since it's your birthday. The biggest hint to solve the puzzle is in the final chapter. But it's all there. And I'm checking my email to see if anyone... Because if you solve it, I will know. I wanted to see if anyone solved it since this afternoon, and no one has. I've got two. I've got Jack Griffin and Adrian Kemp, and that's it so far. Stevie, 50 bucks. I do the stupid show just to make a little bread. You know it's not easy to keep my guppies fed. Bill's up to here, and I'm getting really stressed. I'm almost out of vodka, my car get repossessed. I come on the stream, and I beg for some dough. You say you can't afford it, your money's kinda low. Come on, man, I ain't going for that. I just ain't going for that. Human, you got what I need. So hit that super chat. Click it just like that. Oh, you mean you. You got what I need. I need a super chat. Click that super chat. CD says you had a Cicada 3301 solver in your chat at Griffcast IRL, and he knows the other solvers. I don't know if that could be proved, but that's interesting. And a, a couple of solvers reached out to me during the premiere, but I needed to hear from you a week earlier because the episode's done. That's, you know, I, it's not like we're going to do a follow up on it. But if, uh, if you want to have them email me, that, that would be cool. Maybe it's something that we could do on the podcast. We do have a podcast coming up, don't we? Yes, we do. Which um, I, I'm assuming that you know this already, but there, if you want to take the Y files on the road, I don't know why you do that. But if you want to, you can go to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google, all of them, Audible. Uh, the Y files operation podcast is on there and has been on there for over a year. If you're on Spotify, the video is there too. Um, with no ads, although I think Spotify puts ads in the, I don't know if did it, Spotify put ads in the videos. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, it's up there. And in a few weeks, we're going to start doing long form on the podcast. And, th and that's where we would do things like we have Cicada 3301 solvers. I'll follow up with those folks, and we can just do a deeper dive into the topics. John Snow says, nice beaver. I think that was from a few weeks ago. But thank you, John. I just had it stuffed. Anthony McGuire, hey, did you guys take the vaccines by chance? Just keep moving forward. Don't talk One about thing it. all fish know is the only way to not get caught is to keep your mouth shut. Spiral Mind, uh, excellent show. Hints? Message for you. Oh, I got you already, Spiral Mind. Appreciate the support. I gave you your hint. There's Blooper 416. Funny hearing Rush. This episode reminded me of the Ready Player One book, not the movie. The book, movie, not the movie. The movie sucked. Agreed, Bopper. The book was fun, but um, wasn't a big fan of the movie. That's Ernie Klein, right? Didn't he, doesn't he have something else? Does he have a follow-up Ready Player One? My sci-fi nerds will know. I thought there was a second movie, a sequel, Ready Player Two. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Bubba Seeds. Hey, new sub here. Here, would you like to meet close friend of Carl S. Standing on the shoulders of giants. I still look up to the stars. How about Carl Sagan? Welcome, Bubba Seeds. Glad to have you aboard. And there's Jonathan Hart. I love Hecklefish. The show would not be complete without him. Yeah. All right. This human right here, this human gets it. Everyone's got their opinion. Uh, T for 20 Canadian fine work, AJ and team. Love to see an episode about Eric. Jay Hecker and his claims that there are direct energy weapons located at the South Pole Station. We put Eric Hecker on the list, right? He's the guy in Antarctica who's down there, and he's got all kinds of stuff to talk about. Striders. Striders. That's, that might have been Gino's first story hour. 
Exactly. Kevin Christopher Sullivan, I just want to tell you that while this donation is because I want to support the channel, it would be worth the money just to tell you those glasses are friggin' rad. Thanks, Kevin. You got pretty good specs on yourself there. J2J, 50 bucks. I'm a goldfish. In a steel bowl, I swim. I want it, want it. I want it, a tip. I want it, want it. I want it, a tip. Always good show. Here's a tip for Hackerfish. Things are dark. Well, he gave you a little uh, Bon Jovi. That was Bon Jovi, right? You were saying that one? All right, Jenny, do you mind if I... All righty, here we go. All right, um, he read this one, right? Always a good show. Here's a tip for Hecklefish because he sings Rush. Elijah de Balzac for $9.99. Yeah. <laughs> a, few, a few shekels for Lord Hecklefish. A great episode as always. That being said, what are the odds of a tinfoil Santa hat in time for the season? Um, we're working on quite a few new merch items that are very fun that we don't have yet. And there are a couple of Christmas themed items. So we'll have all of the designs for that nailed down in the next couple of weeks. And then maybe we can share some stuff. In the meantime, cool. We got plenty of merch that's up. That's really good merch yes. that you can get at the store. We all have them on today. These are really good ones. I really love these ones. Emily Partington for $19.99. Thank you, Emily. I like your Boy George cosplay. Can Hecklefish come to Rhode Island Comic Con with me? I have a great table for his bowl and an extra seat for Gertie. That's very nice of you. Uh, he is a curmudgeon, and he doesn't like to go out in public. So uh, I'll let him know, but he's hard to get to go anywhere that he doesn't want to go. So, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do, Emily. Unchained America for $10. I know you aren't an alien guy, but you are. I mean, Gino, are familiar with the Aurora, Texas UFO incident back in 1896? Gino? You're on mute. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> My earphones uh, died on us, so oh, no. me. Uh, yeah, I, I've uh, heard that story. Um, I, maybe I could do that for a um, Gino story hour. All right. All right. We want to talk. We want to talk a little bit about um, MH370. This is the Malaysia okay. Airlines flight. That disappeared in March of 2014. No one knows what happened. Now wreckage has turned up, but also some some videos have turned up. I want to start with one that we can easily see. Let's try that. All right, I think this was taken from a drone. So you could see things swirling right around it. Yep. Once it gets over, you can see that there are three craft swirling around it. So it's two images because the um, the photography, this might be satellite. It's, this is a stereo image. So it's a 3D image. And you see it disappear. Yeah. 
that's... I'm actually gonna I'm gonna throw this in the Oculus later and see if I can see anything. See how it looks. Yeah, that's six full rings. Portal. And gone. About four frames and then gone. All right, this is this is the this is the, the you know you could just mute the notifications for a minute if you want to. All right, so this is this is um thermal imaging. synced up and you can see that we're getting a thermal signature from whatever those things are. And look, it to me at first I I thought it, you know, this can't be real. But if this is hoaxed, it's, you know, it's pretty intricate. It's pretty detailed. You know, the satellite imagery has the correct um identification on it. And I've got some more of that that's stabilized. And then you saw the the portal appear there, which 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 gave off a bit of a signature, but not not much of one. You saw. Can I ask a question though? Yeah. Where did they get the thermal imaging? How is there just be, happen to be a camera? There's not this. It, the, these images are from satellite and from a drone. But why was there a drone? Because because in the United States has drones all over the place. And just Very. happen to be watching this random plane that just disappeared. Yeah, they're all over the place. So this is the um, this is the pattern. Someone someone made the um, trace the pattern of the craft, and it and it makes this this kind of perfect geometry of the whatever those three ships are. So one of the theories that I heard with this is if it was blipped out of existence, then how did they find stuff? So, right. uh, but tip, uh, often when people are abducted, they're brought back, of course, that's how we find out. So it's possible the theory is that they were blipped out of existence. They came back and all of a sudden they're back and flying and crashed. Could be because there definitely is wreckage. This is the image of the the frame where it it's near the portal. And what some people are saying is that the plane actually gets tugged back into the portal. I don't know if I can't really see it from there, but that's that's some reading about about that particular image. Uh, we watched that one. I'm going to come back to that. There's still frames of the objects and then the portal, heat signature of the portal. Here's the stabilized. So they're giving off a heat signature, just not much of one. People have noted that in the, uh, you, you see that the clouds illuminate when that, when that flashes. 
All right, this is more from the drone. That's one of the orbs. Maker of Madness, a Q4 drone can track something the size of a soccer ball up to 300 miles away. That's true. Let's see, why did I pull this one from YouTube? Have they found any skeletal remains of anyone from the plane? Not that I'm aware of. No human remains. Pieces of the fuselage wing. In Madagascar, a bunch of stuff washed up in Madagascar. Shalom, Ronit. Zosa thinks it's swamp gas. Okay, we saw that one. Gianni Skiki, is the motion blur consistent? From what I can tell it is, but you really need, would need to analyze it. But the blur on the orb seems consistent to me. If, you know, the fakest thing that, to me is the portal doesn't look that real to me but you know i don't know what a, an alien portal looks like of thermal imaging i don't have that information in my brain golden marigold will co color the orbs i couldn't really tell from any of the images what color they were i think this one gives us our best look you know it's hard to tell i believe this is black and white I don't know. That's what's floating around. <clears throat> Sir Monk Knight, who are the passengers on the flight? Then you'll know why and what. Yep, there's some theories going around about that. The clouds look static like a st still image, says Dave. Matthew Allen, the clouds are not moving. People have pointed that out. But, I mean, if the plane is moving at six or 700 miles an hour, we're seeing it super slow-mo. We're seeing the two seconds, three seconds of footage. We're just seeing it slow down. How much are going to clouds, clouds going to change in two or three seconds? 
Username wants the black box. Me too, man. 100 AI computer scientists on their way to China were on that plane. Government cover-up. Brash Frank, obviously. Weather balloons. Why didn't the clouds disperse when the portal opened? Uh, who can answer that, Sher uh, Who can answer that, Sheras? Sheras, Sheras? Who can answer that? What is the portal? What, it, what does it even do? Where does it go? All right, well, I'm going to, I'll keep an eye on it. Maybe we'll have more as, as things happen. But we're two hours, 27 minutes in. I want to get some super chats done for you before we let you go. How does that sound? Jen gives a thumbs up. And you guys want to go take a break, right? Yes, she does. She has to pee. There is Unchain America for 10. I know you are an alien guy, but you, I mean, Gino, are familiar with the Aurora, Texas UFO incident, 1896. I'm not familiar with that one. Yours, Mystery Airships, a good Wi Fi cover as well. I will write that one down. Aurora, Texas. Yep. Correct. April 17th, 1897, a UFO crash near a farm near Aurora, Texas. Similar to the more famous Roswell UFO incident 50 years later. And there's a news article about it. Didn't expect that. About 6 o'clock this morning, the early risers of Aurora were astonished at the sudden appearance of the airship, which has been sailing through the country. So this is, this is before planes. <laughs> It was traveling due north and much nearer the earth than ever before. Evidently, some of the machinery was out of order. It was making a speed of only 10 or 12 miles an hour and gradually settling toward the earth. The pilot of the ship, pilot of the ship, is supposed to be the only one on board. While his remains are badly disfigured, enough of the original has been picked up to show that he was not an inhabitant of this world, says the newspaper. Mr. T.J. Weems, the United States Signal Service officer at this place and an authority on astronomy, gives it as, it as his opinion that he was a native of the planet Mars. Well, that probably not Mars, but that was the thing then. Papers found on this person, evidently the record of his travels, are written in some unknown hieroglyphics and cannot be deciphered. Alien would have papers? Like his business papers? You would think it would be... He'd have a, at least he'd have an iPad, you know, or something running L cars. Cheapest big spenders back. I found the message. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. We are trying to be oppressed, and we have to fight back and find the Holy Grail and spam. I like the way you think, cheapest. There is Justin Watkins. When the aliens do get here, we're going to have to try and explain why we have hundreds of movies and games based on killing them. Awkward. I hadn't thought of that. You know, why don't the aliens talk to us? Because we've been killing them in our in our free time for 50 years. That is a good point. Peter Christian, thank you for the 50. No comment, no question. Just, just 50 bucks. I appreciate it. Blood nut 500. <laughs> I'm so tired, I'm a human. We've been together too long. I should have my own show. The moron says I am wrong. So while he lay there asleeping, I had my laptop in bed. So I logged into Reddit. There was a message that read, do you want to be on YouTube? Do you like to entertain? Come and be my co-host. You only need half a brain. If you like aliens and pyramids, conspiracies get you high. Then you're the co-host I'm looking for. Message me and apply. Blood nut five hundred dollars. Thank you so much for that. That keeps us going. Chaz Fink yelling L cars. 
Chaz knows what's up. R. Rogers, 500 is amazing, isn't it? That's an amazing donation. Big donation of the night. Terry B. Fan, love the backup dancers. The other Lebowski, the millionaire, slippers still need to talk. I agree. I agree. I don't know if I'm going to win that battle, though. I pick my battles. Sam Maggie, too. YouTubers on the end of the world coming into the world coming earth cycles or sun cycles adapt to 2030. Suspicious observers. Are you a believer in any of this? Keeps me up. Um, I'm suspicious observers. I watch. I believe some of it. I, you know, channels like those, I think, are very um, they'll keep you up. They're they're scary. So I would I consider it, you know, more on the fear porn side rather than scientific, but they do make a lot of good points. And I, you know, I refer to their content when I'm talking about the Carrington event or, or other disasters. So yeah, suspicious observers I watch, but not for long stretches because it's, it's dark and you, you don't leave that channel feeling happy. You know, when you leave the Y files, I want you to be in a good mood, even if the topics are dark, but you know, that's what, I do hear other channels. They just want you to be terrified. That's cool. That's how they make their living. Ron Klotzer is back. So Gino can get a pre-roll for his half hour story hour. There he goes. He's one step ahead of you. Kelson, Kelson, Seltzen. When is the Antarctic episode planned? I need to warn my dad, who's with the U.S. Antarctic program for 30 years. Raytheon, Lockheed. Your dad knows what happened. He knows what he he's in the secret club. That episode is happening. I don't know exactly when. Um, Jen and Victoria will they they know. We'll ask them in a minute. Brian, since Sir Bo, thank you for the 20. Super early alarm in the morning, so off to bed. Good night, Brian. I wanted to drop a few sh a few shackles in the pot for Lord Hecklefish. Could these cats and anonymous wipe out student debt already? I don't know if they could wipe it out, man. There's Zed, the super fan, Francis for 10. Why, fam? I thought Cicada was a Latino singer. But I'm dumb. Good sauce episode request. Can you please ask Hecklefish to say the F word again soon? Also, did you make Victoria tell her secret before you hired her? What, what secret? What's he talking about? What secret? There's the secret. You'll, you'll, ne you'll never know because... Because she was on mute. But if anyone can lip read, tell me what the secret is. Put it in the chat. Z says, you look like Charlie Sheen. Well, you look like Charlie Sheen. What do you think of that, Z? Harmon Atnip uh, asking, what kind of work did I do? I did all kinds of stuff, Harmon. You look at my resume, it doesn't make any sense. So I've worked in tech, I've worked in media, and often at the same time. Chef, uh, Chef C, love your stuff, brother. Using binaural beats and hemisync techniques, I asked them two burning existential questions I had about myself in the world. The kicker, they answered. And that's it. That's, and that's his whole comment. He didn't tell us what they said. I can't get hemisync to work. That's, um, if you saw that episode, that's playing two different frequencies in your brain. And then the, the frequencies cancel each other out. And whatever the delta is between the frequencies, which you typically can't hear, you can then hear. Your brain can then translate, which sounds wacky to me, but uh, scientifically it works. Jack traded AJ's in the CIA. Ha, ha, ha. Just kidding. Five o'clock shadow. How many lies did you tell your wife? Uh, I haven't lied to Jen all that much, but, uh, but the other ones, quite a few lies. Tim Jet for 20. Got to get a dancing AJ for Christmas. No, you don't need my stupid face on anything, but we'll keep doing hecklefish stuff. <laughs> there is Jordan for five Canadian. I'm a hardcore skeptic, sciencey, non-conspiracy, non-spiritual guy. But aliens and UFOs are my guilty pleasure that I always want to believe in. I hear you, Jordan. I'm kind of the same way. I consider myself, I don't know if I'm a hardcore skeptic, you know, I want to believe. I don't believe, but I want to believe. Couch Couch and says the Lord is real. I respect that. I don't know if you're right, but I respect it. Kevin Cole for five. Love the videos. First time I have donated. I appreciate that, Kevin. 
And thanks to everyone who's dropped some uh, super chats in the bowl tonight. It really helps the channel. I mean, it really helps keep us going. I mean, this one ain't cheap, this kid right here. This one is. I, I, I got her for half price. That sounds rude. Sounds rude, but you you get you get all of mine too, don't you? Yeah, I get some perks. She gets perks, if you know what I'm talking about. Sam Siminski. <laughs> so excited to catch my first love after files. And after a puzzle episode, thanks for the fun brain teasers each week. You're welcome, Sam. I hope you solve that one. Blake wants a bobblehead, AJ. We have a U2s coming soon. We have a U2. You have a picture of the U2s handy to I, show? I do. Hang on. All right. Let you get, get that. I'll, you get that. Let me know okay. when you get it. Okay. Well, here is the bringer of moistness. AKA lover of bean. Just want to say good evening to the goddesses, AKA the Wi Fi's ladies, Jen, Gino, Victoria, and Gertie, keeping us all in a line. Blessings to you all. That's nice. Thank you, bringer of moistness. It's a little strange. Jason Hartley, y'all need to do one on the Pope Lick Monster. In Louisville, Kentucky. The Pope Lick Monster? And Jason, you, you heard me you heard me pronounce Louisville correctly, right? Big shout out. It's kind of oh, hard to okay. see. There's it. the there's the U2s that are coming soon. So that's my stupid face with the orange glasses holding Hecklefish in the bowl with his tin foil hat. Yes. And you seem very excited to have those. I'm very excited to have them. And we're also getting a life size one for the studio. A life size one? It's actually even a little bit, it's six feet tall. So it's oh. a little bigger than life size. Oh. <laughs> well, sometimes dreams do come true. There is Juicebox20. Speaking about UFO, UAP encounters, when I was deployed overseas some years back, I had a buddy take some photos of wild horses for his wife. He snapped an interesting picture of one. It was pretty eerie. Made us think, though. Well, email that, Juice. We'll check that out. We'll show that on the next uh, episode. Matthew Graham, y'all need to look up the MH370 and UAP videos. Matthew, I just did 20 minutes on those, man. Kate McFarland think that, thinks that's a cute U2s. But what does she know? Dog-faced Pepe Soldier. It was the Phantom Time episode that got me on Wild Files. More historical mysteries, please. You got a dog face. I like those too. Phantom Time episode, that was a fun one. Um, if you haven't seen that one, that is the theory that a few hundred years are missing from history because of a conspiracy between the Pope and an emperor. Uh, back during the year 1000. So, right, we think we're in the year whatever it is, 20, 20 something, but it's really, it's really like the year 1760. That's the real year. So, that's an, that's an, an early Wi Files episode. There's Mandible. What if Cicada 3301 was an alien or AI entity seeking to find members of the human race capable of proving our readiness and cognitive transcendence? That would be a good plot for a for for a movie mandible i like the way you think dave 3d guy says of the youtubes looks like more gray in aj's hair in that avatar than in reality uh, it depends on how far away i am from the dye job actually the the lighting in here is somewhat somewhat flattering it's it's actually grayer than that what are you gonna do what are you gonna do? Vincent Vincent R's there. Go easy on Jen and Vic. Definitely the highlights of the show. Just kidding. Ecclefishes love the show. Thanks. Victoria is the, is the highlight of the show.
There she is telling us her secret again. There is Dude Piston 88. Ooh, thank you, human. You made my dorsal fin tingle. What do you think of all the UFO news going around now? Uh, it's suspicious to me that it's suddenly going around now. But, I mean, Grush has come forward. Um, I'm not sure I believe him, but I want to believe him. We'll just have to keep following. I know, I know Senator Gillibrand was talking about this just the other day at an event, which I don't even know if she knew a camera was rolling. She felt like a lot of what pilots were seeing were drones or aircraft, but she did say there was stuff that people didn't understand. She hasn't seen the evidence yet, but she says she expects to. So we will see. Eric, $300. That's me in the fishbowl. That's me on the YouTube begging you for money. I need to buy a little more booze. And I don't know if I can do it. Oh no, I need 10 bucks. I haven't got enough. Love the episode. Some of my favorite video games in involve puzzle solving, etc. Like Tomb Raider, Uncharted, etc. Another good tip in the till to fill the fridges and pantries of the new office. All the Diet Coke Jen wants. Yay! Thank you, Eric. We got a big yay from the skinny Wendigo arms. <laughs> Dude Piston, thanks again for the support. Eric Bishop, very consistent supporter of the channel. Troy Crumbly says Michael Tripe. Midget Matt, check out for the heckle. Javier Fernandez says Coke Zero is good. The answer is no. Oh, pardon me. That's. Mm, do I watch the After Files live stream or do I punch myself in the face? Tough decision. Okay. Popto Ham. Why don't you talk about the heavy conspiracy theories like HIV being created to kill African Americans and gays or 9 11 and inside job? By the way, Duck Alex Jones. Um, Alex Jones talked about those things. How did that work out for him? <laughs> Deplatformed everywhere and a lawsuit of what, a billion dollars? Something like that, yeah. They even wanted to take his cat. So. <laughs> Pop to hum. So that's the main reason I don't cover those is because you you can't cover those on mainstream platforms. And places like Rumble, you can get away with a lot of it, but definitely not here. Um, but there are also some that I wouldn't like the HIV story that's been around for a long time. I know it's a conspiracy, but I wouldn't cover that. Because you know that I just I wouldn't cover that one. 9-11 inside job is interesting to me. There's some stuff that's weird about that. But these are things that I will talk about on the podcast. Um, not gonna, not gonna talk about gays and HIV. That's not that. I'm not gonna do that. But, uh, but nine eleven, we'll talk about. Right, Jenny? I don't have to talk about the HIV stuff, do I? No, I mean, it's a lot of people dying really in a hard way. Yes. And, you know, and HIV has touched a lot of family members, including mine. It's hard. It's hard to watch. Uh -huh. So. Uh, you can get that content uh, other places. Right. So the, on the, but the podcast will cover that stuff, but I still, I'm going to do the best I can to try and keep it, keep it positive, you know, keep it fun if I can. So uh, a fine Fafnir says that is the correct path. I agree. Yes. Um, so I'll try to keep the podcast fun. And I don't Thank know how to, you. Get, you know, and there's that, and there's that old adage in show business that, uh, you can't make AIDS fun. Uh, Dave Hofter for 20, 3301 is the number of cicadas I fished out of my pool this summer. It should be the Alabama state bird. Yeah. That this is a cicada year. We have them too. I like the way they sound, but they're everywhere. All right, we're at 2.46, coming up in three hours. I mean, 
we only want to do a three hour show tonight, right? I've still got a plenty of super chats to get to. Should we just do three hours or three hours? Keep going? You can do it. You can get through. I mean, I could do it, but, but so, I mean, look, Jen's done. I have, a, I have migraine. Stick a fork in her. Stick a fork in. We'll start with a fork. Casey Aaron for five. Love the Wi-Fi in tonight's episode. Uh, more moon eps. And what are the chances of a hollow moon shirt? Please take my money. Keep the great work. Hang, hang on. They're getting upset down there. What, what's the issue? What? It's the Patreon store. Oh. I we there... But I don't think we were doing the shirt yet when we did hollow moon. We were. We worked. We did hollow earth. But... Oh. Could be a good shirt, though. Hollow moon shirt. All right. I don't, I don't think we have an Adam and Eve shirt either, which is, I think, our biggest video. Adam and Eve, and they're pushing Adam and Eve again right now. Because I keep an eye on the stats, and um, I notice that views are, views are soft lately, last week or two, which is, it's going to happen. But subs are up. Yes. So... So that's telling me that uh, that YouTube is is promoting the channel to new people, which is nice. Um, simulation theory is the one they're pushing right now, and uh, and Adam and Eve behind that, and then just behind that, I'll give Jen one guess what 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 they want to know about Mel's hole. Mel's hole. Everyone <laughs> wants to look inside Mel's hole. That's what's going. On. Angel Robot Robot says, woof, woof. Yes, yes, we uh, we heard that. The synthetic nature says flaccid views. Yeah, they, you don't want your views to be flaccid. <laughs> no. ALR says Mel's hole is awesome and warm. It's also dark and very moist. It's very humid. <laughs> A lot of moisture in Mel's hole. Oh. All right, Casey, I think we I think we might come up with that shirt because I would wear that one too. I have been moon pilled. Rocket sauce. The Y files are my favorite files. Keep in mind I watched every episode of the X Files in real time every week. Keep up the good work. It takes a team to build a channel, just like that other thing. It certainly does. Thanks for the support, Rocket Sauce. John Ortiz, thanks for the great content. Are you familiar with the Akashic Record? It's incredibly interesting. I am, and I don't know if that's on the list, but it will be because that's uh, that's a good religious content that I like. To, I like to do those stories. Alexis Omnis, Omnis, Omnis for ten pound. Hi, have you heard of the Polaroid Ghost Rider? You would love it. I haven't heard of that. Polaroid Ghost Rider. Polaroid Phantom. They covered it on, on NPR, so you know it's got to be true. Uh, the first, uh, John Huck, I got a hidden camera for Christmas. Remember sensing something? I looked up and the bathroom door opened in front of me. It seemed so demonstrative. So I got up, was nervous. I uh, took another picture. That's when I got the first photograph of this experience. Their Polaroid photo. So you basically sit and watch them develop. As it was developing, I just saw this almost the stereotypical version of a ghost. It looks so, you know, the eyes. Was well, there a picture of it? No, it can't be that, right? It's not that. There's a lot of ghost Polaroids. Polaroids. There's uh, that could be a fun episode. I'm I'm kind of ghosts out, ghosted out for now. Although I, I think I think we got spook lights coming up, don't we? We have spook lights. We do. All right. Are you are you enjoying a nic nicotine? Oh, you got a song in your head. I do. I don't know what it is. I started dancing to it, and then as soon as you asked me, I was like, I don't remember what it is that I was dancing to. All right. Well, let's 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 give you a song then. St. Peter, two hundred Canadian. 
yo 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 la la yo yo fish really need some money i need to buy some stuff fish really need some money youtube don't pay enough fish really need some money so click the super chat like that 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 is that Eric Roberts in the video? Eric Roberts is in the video. Mass Mickelson is in the video. It's like a mo it's like a mini movie. It's long. It's a good one. It's a good one? And it's but you have to violent. listen to that but you have to listen to that song while you watch, right? <laughs> hey, look, there's yes. a downside to everything. It's it can't all be jam. Uh thanks for that, St. Peter. One of my favorite saints, T.C. Rich. My six-year-old daughter loves cryptids. The Mothman episode is her favorite. She asked me to drop a comment in support of Chupacabra slash vampires. I don't want to do cryptids, T.C., but for your daughter, we will definitely do it. We'll, we'll do a Chupacabra, and we will dedicate that episode to her. So tell her hi from the Y Files and appreciate the support. CJ7, I didn't solve the puzzle, but the answer better be drink more Ovaltine. It is not, but... Uh, I wish I would have thought of that earlier. You'll shoot your eye out. John Mangino, Caesar Cipher, my radio name in college. Love the episode. This is my wheelhouse. Love these inter internet puzzles and anything involving cryptography, steganography, OSINT puzzles, etc. Great episode. Thank you. All right, John, I'm going to be looking for your solution to the puzzle in tonight's episode. Uh, the hint is it's in the final chapter. Simon Federon for five pound would love for someone to recreate the cicada code breaking journey for those that have started in the field since. Is this possible? Um, I don't, I don't know. You know, we, we toyed with the idea of doing an ARG of some kind to do with it, something to do with the channel. I would still like to do it when we have some time and you know, maybe, maybe we can just steal some of their puzzles, get a little head start. Jimmy Rains, what when does the Wi Files After Files go on tour? Jeez, I mean, he, 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 Jimmy sounds like my agent. <laughs> We're gonna get books and movies and tours and you're gonna billboards and the name is gonna be in lights. <laughs> You know, we're we're working on some live stuff, but that probably won't be until next year. Probably not till next year. The if I had to guess, the first live show will probably be at the drive-in and we'll and we'll live stream it as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll have everybody there in person. We'll watch an episode on the drive-in screen. We'll do the after files uh on the on the screen and maybe we'll we'll live stream it as well. It'd be fun. And Jen, you're invited if you'd like to come. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. You're welcome. There is, uh, oh, Simon Federon's back. Would love for someone to recreate this. Oh, you're back because I just read it. But I appreciate the support, Simon. There's Thane Vallette. I think that's your first super chat, right? Cha-ching, baby! My daughter loves hecklefish. Well, you should get her three or four of these. What I say. What topic would you most like to cover but can't because of the YouTube restrictions? I guess 9-11 would be a good one, but that's only because it's in my head. Um, Lake City Quiet Pills I would cover because it's a good mystery. We'll probably do that on the podcast. So those, Thane, if you have any suggestions, then email me or drop them in the tips line for sure. There is DDD, the dumpster, drive, dumpster diving dragon for $5.80, the best back scratcher as a $1.00 store toilet scrubber brush i've ever used never breaks shapes to get shapes to get to the hand get to the hard to get to too for gertie we have to remember that toilet brush to scrub on gertie's hump okay i do i, I do have the hump scrubber in there i will i will uh go look for it well, Melissa's very excited. She is tracking her hecklefish plushie. He's on. He's en route. I will be a strict but fair lord <laughs> of these lands, and my serfs will come to idolize me. 
He is en route. My sister got her notification that hers is on the way. When so she got the notification when? Well, I think Monday or Tuesday was when they shipped. How the long are they taking shipped. to get there? Uh well, they're coming overseas. So I'm not sure. Hopefully it shouldn't take too terribly long. Um, and I think that they did the first 7,000. So. 7,000? I think so. Chance maybe. Um, I think I solved the puzzle waiting on confirmation. I don't think so. I don't think you got it. Um, Hogs and Lisa, the, the Hecklefish plushie is... Twenty nine ninety five or thirty dollars, and you can get it on shop at the dot com. Hector Rosa wants to know if you if did you use union labor for your merchandise? There you go. There's your answer. Uh, gracious, 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 gracious. Uh, was great to attend my first premiere as the Antikythera me machine on your list is always love the content. It's on the list as part of a, of an out of, out of time objects kind of episode. It's on there. I thought maybe it's been covered too much, but people have asked for it. So we'll do it. We will do it because Murica, dude, you'd make a killer Gordon Freeman. Who's Gordon Freeman? I don't know. It made my face make a confused look. Oh, from Half Life. Ah. Okay. Uh, the wife doesn't like it, but. No, I just don't know it. It'd be fine. It'd be fine? Mr. Eichley's back. The Still Alive Portal song was our cake-cutting song at our wedding. You guys are awesome. Aperture Science. Doo, doo. Yeah, that's on my playlist. That's a good one. Not sure. A hundred bucks. You like this show? Send me some dough. You can super chat. I hope you know about that. There is one thing that I am sure of. You gotta tip me some more, human. Won't you tip me with some money? <laughs> hey, hey, fishy. 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 Don't you know you gotta tip the fishy? Hey, hey, tip the fishy. Tip the fishy tonight. The crew keeps coming up with S-level material every week. Thank you all for being amazingly talented people. Clearly a Gino Story Hour fan. I can tell by his, by his tone. Thanks, Thank you. for the support. What's that a picture of there? What's his avatar? Uh, McLovin, I think. Oh, is that McLovin? Uh -uh. <laughs> no, it's not. It looks like, oh, maybe it's his head on McLovin. It looks like Luke Wilson. Well, someone to me. pass me an umbrella, please. It's rainy crazy in here. It's too small. I, I can't see. I thought it was McLovin's uh, driver's license. People are saying idiot idiocracy. Oh, okay. Okay. Boy, that 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 movie came true, huh? Joe Noel, I, I just want to say keep keep it up with the great videos. My wife Jess and I look forward to this every Thursday. You guys rock. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Mrs. Noel. No, no, no. This is Ed. Glad you guys are out there. Appreciate the support. Fine Fafner says it's a great movie. ALR loves Gino. Uh, GPRS would like to understand the Van Allen belts. How, how does anyone get through the Van Allen belts? And there you go. Rolo Idiocracy is a documentary at this point. Looks 
Slick Rick wants to know, when is the episode on the backside of the moon coming? Uh, it's on the list. It's on the list. and It's coming soon. <laughs> it's coming soon. So what do we got next week? Is next week spook? Next week is Lemuria. Uh-huh. What's after that? Knights Templar. Oh, Knights Templar. Yes. Okay, and then after that? Spook Lights. Spook is after that. And spook Lights. Yes. Um, if Fortune Games wants to know if you can explain the Van Halen belt. Uh, <laughs> the it's the same as the Van Allen belt. It's just got more hair. There you go. She's got more hair. There's your answer. Mrs. Science. Cruise controlling. Electric Universe Theory. It's all about the e the ether and ether and open source data for for no cap. Uh yeah, I like that story, Cruise. That's on the list. Right? That one is actually on the list, right? That's coming. Yes, it is. It is. And Van Halen belt is just, just like the Van Halen belt, but it has more hair. Yes. There's Al be doing stuff. Fear the crab cat. <laughs> I like the way this human thinks. Envoy missed my first premiere in a long time due to a boozy work function. Just catching up now. Keep up the great work, Y Files team. But thanks for stumbling home into the into the premiere, Envoy. I hope you're not too hungover in the morning. Darren Bennett. Awesome episode. Fatima, my wife, and I are excited for the True Crime channel. Our son, Joe Dave, loves the Wi Files. Hello from Cebu, Philippines. Jen is Hello. also excited for the uh, True Crime channel, aren't you? Oh, I am. Yes, she is. 589. I love all the videos and the work y'all put into them, especially all the research done for each episode. Keep up all the hard work and thank you for the amazing content. You're very welcome. All right, Anonymous says he solved the puzzle and emailed me about it. I don't think so. Hang on, let's check over here. No, I do not believe you have solved it. Anonymous. Uh, I live in your walls. AJ, were you the one LARPing as 3301 a week ago on the X board? Someone asked me that earlier. Uh, no, I don't hang out on X board. Like, I never do. But I, but if there are highlights or there's a cool thread, I'll go and read that. Or I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll read the, the screen caps of it. But I don't read the X board. I, re I really don't follow UFO and paranormal content. You know, it's, this is... This is like, you know, this is my, my job. So I don't follow that stuff. Paul's back for 20. Every few minutes, we someone making their first ever super chat. I've never seen that type of engagement before. Truly special stuff here. I agree, Paul. I've never seen that either. I didn't know if maybe the notifications were new. I'm scrolling through the chat now. Celebrate the first super chat from Reed Koch, Reed Coke, Reed Coke 41. Yeah, I've never seen those before. Maybe they just weren't that many of them. So it's nice to see new people super chatting, and I really appreciate it. And, um, and of course, there's a lot of consistent folks super chatting week after week, like Paul and others. We couldn't do this without them. Eric Stitt. Icky, 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 patang, no. <laughs> Jen knows what you mean. Hector Rosa, a haiku. Panda of the space. Annoying English accent. Free the space panda. Nicely done. I think that's a haiku. There's Paul for 10. Fun fact. Eight megalodon bits add up to one megalodon bite. <laughs> oh, 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 my spleen. Oh, you're going to rupture my spleen. No, nothing like a little hexadecimal comedy to keep the show moving. Zorban for 10. Don't mind me. Just putting the tip in. Hey, we, every little bit helps, man. $10 is a nice tip. I appreciate it. Uh, 
I'm just reading the chat. Uh, Victoria th thinks that's a good Knights of Knee impression. Thank you. I've been watching that movie for 30 or 40 years. I mean, Jen and I haven't watched it in a while, but that that's that is one we we go back to from time to time. I it holds up every time. The the only issue we have is it's just the movie and Jen and I all doing the movie simultaneously is how that is. Is that fair to say? Yes. Yes. It's a whole reenactment every None time you watch shall it. Pass. <laughs> Heretic Empire Productions for 20 Canadian. Hi, AJ. Huge fan of the show. Can I get a shout out for my snowboard crew, Homebrew? Homebrew.crew. Sure you can, homebrew.crew. That's everybody. That's the official um, snowboard crew channel of the Watt Files right there. Homebrew.crew. Oh, it's a YouTube channel. All right, everyone go to homebrew.crew. That's the official homebrew slash snowboard crew uh, channel of the Watt Files. Paul's back. Hey, Gino, in terms of knocking at your back door, a fun fact is sharks have two penises, one on each side of their body. So double your pleasure, double your fun. Eggplant, eggplant. Well, I'm not sure if you have experience with that or you're taking that from a book, but either way, um, whatever your kink is, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. All right. No kink shaming happening here on the After Files, that's for sure. <laughs> Paul's got a follow-up. Best story hour yet. Mm. All right. There you go. Big reactions from Gino. And if you knew him, you know those are those are bigger. That's, that's a lot of emotion from Gino. It is. It's normally. <laughs> you know, you just won the lottery. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Here's Katie. Thanks for another great show. Love to Jen, Kictoria, me. And Gino, and as always, Hecklefish for president. Finally, a Thanks. human who gets it. Thank you, Victoria. There she goes. <laughs> and now do you have the hiccups on top of the migraine? No. Uh, now, I'm going to do an impression of your hiccup, and you tell me how accurate it is. It's pretty close. <laughs> Picture it. <laughs> a sick pterodactyl. A sick pterodactyl. Yeah. With streptococcus oh. in its mouth. She just likes the word streptococcus for some reason. There's Heather. Hi, we adore you guys on your work. We're about to list our house and start a new adventure. Hoping for the best. We'll miss lives once we start the move. Oh, the live show. But I'll watch After Files while I work. Well, good luck with your move, Heather. There is Brash Fink for 10. Hmm, okay, I guess I didn't send a message before. Long time viewer, first time live stream, though I have watched them all. Viewers since one mil and consumed all the videos in a couple of days. Keep up the good fight. Thanks, Brash. Caesar V sounds like screaming goats. Matthew Allen thinks that's a camel call. Scorp one, the, the Dukakis part. TV Neverland streptococcus is something Mayan. It's not a Mayan word. Jennifer Lynn, yikes, those sound like brutal hiccups. I'm sorry. Um, according to, to Jennifer, they're painful, but funny, but just very, very funny. Dad! Cruise controlling for 10. I mean, that's that's my perfect princess right there. <laughs> Electricity is the engine behind a long list of natural and astrophysical spectacles. See, Electric Universe is the dive you want. See, that's the... Um... Hang on, we may have a winner on the puzzle. Um, that's that's the, the, the simulation theory working, because we haven't talked about Electric Universe theory, probably, I don't think ever on the, the After Files, at least not in a long time, and here it is coming up twice in the span of two minutes. Uh, Keaton Bench sending an email... Um, thinks that he solved the puzzle, but nope, you didn't get it. Let's check the email over here. Nope. 
No one yet. Still only two winners. Oh, pardon me. It's hey, home. kids at home. If you want to learn how to do a professional live stream, watch something else. Yeah, so, so far only two, um, two people got the puzzle, two Patreon members. Have I mentioned Patreon? It's a great way to support the channel, by the way. For as little as three bucks a month, you support us, you keep it going, you keep Victoria in the lifestyle to which she's become accustomed. That's very important. You get to see the videos early. You get access, um, special access on the Discord, plus two extra live streams a week as if you wanted more of this. But if you do, the live streams on Discord are for Patreon members, and there's not 13,000 of us. There's uh, just a few of us. Everybody's camera's on. It's a lot of fun, and it's only a few bucks. A great way to support the channel. So please do consider Patreon membership. You get also get early access to things like this. The moon landing was fake. Moon landing might have been fake. Garrett Horsch is there. Uh, Massachusetts police UFO sighting from 2000 Lebanon, Illinois, over many other towns. We have the real dispatch audio from these officers reporting to each other. I haven't heard that one, Garrett. But if there's dispatch audio, we definitely would check that out. Um, oh, mass police, mass police sighting. 2000 Lebanon, Illinois. UFO. Multiple UFO sightings. Listen to police dispatch from UFO sightings. In 2000, there was a group of sightings of strange objects over the USA that resulted in police chases and 9-11 calls. I'm looking for the audio and I'm not, not finding it. Let's see what's on the YouTube's dispatch. UFO Hunters, uh, Invasion. Uh, so History Channel covered it. I don't want to play this because they will they will claim it. All right, good call, Garrett. We're looking to that one. That's that's that sounds like a fun one. Secret Mission Man. Enjoy your content and appreciate all the whole hard work uh, you and your team put in. Well, thanks, Secret Mission Man. We couldn't do it without your support. There's Andre Berdiga. Berdiga, what are your thoughts on the Maui fire? Recent wildfires across in general. Government using energy weapons for land gain. Thanks for everything you do. Um, those theories are definitely floating around uh, along with a few others. We haven't covered it yet because people are still in a bad way. You know, I'm, I'm watching video of, of children's bodies in the street, so we're not ready to, to start speculating on that yet. We'll let that story simmer for a while. We'll see what emerges, and then, then we'll cover it. But right now, we just consider it a tragedy. KG, thank you for the 20. Awesome episode. How have I not heard of 3301 before? Excellent detail on the puzzles. You know your stuff. Time to donate. Thanks, KG. I only know my stuff on that one because I'm very fam familiar with that story. And that's the kind of nerdy content that I, that I like. So I'm glad you did. Where is it ranking? Are we still five? Uh... Let me see. We're checking there. We're checking how it's comparing to the other videos at this point. It's six right it's now. It's dipping. It's, it had dipped the last time you asked. It was six. It's softening. No, it's not softening. It's not softening. Rave, 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 rave cake, rave kit, rave kit. Can you do a deep dive on how 35 minutes into the 2009 film Knowing predicted the 2010 Deepwater Horizon disaster in the Gulf of Mexico? 13 months to the day. I hadn't heard that. That Knowing is it's one of those um, cheesy Nick Cage movies that I like. That's the Nick Cage one, right? Where, um, where the kid's predicting all the tragedies. I think that's that one. Yeah, three stars on IMDb. I liked it, but you know, it's that's my kind of content. Yeah, so the so the kid comes up with a list of numbers that turns out to be tragedies. I won't spoil the end the end ending's bonkers. But look, if you're here listening to this, you'd probably like the movie. But I hadn't heard that connection, Rave Kid. But I'll look into that. It'd be 
good reason to go watch the movie again. Just checking out the chat. Dimitri liked the movie. Uh, Garrett, hey, any mod in chat? What's the website for tips? I had the police dispatch audio for me. Sorry for my grammar. Only so many characters. Uh, the yfiles.com slash tips will work, Garrett. Or you can just email me, AJ at the yfiles. Jose, different police officers from three different towns follow the UFO. Yeah, we'll definitely check that out. Mac Diesel's working on his Kozarev mirror. That'll be fun. Thomas Waters wants werewolves and dogmen. No! Thomas already did the Michigan dogman, if you want to check that out. A couple of good photos of him in there. But otherwise, I'm not a big believer in that one. But the, the Mothman I came around a little bit to. Not so much in the Point Pleasant sightings. But, um, but all the sightings in Chicago are strange. Roast beef Halloween special coming? No, we don't. We don't do. Uh, we don't do topical. We we do evergreen. But maybe for Halloween we'll do something in the in like the after files or something like that. I mean, we can get Jen to wear a costume, right? I'm thinking French maid. Uh, the Mafia Kings. Uh, she would never wear that, not because she's offended, it's because she doesn't clean. <laughs> Just finished watching a video on Stanley Kubrick and the Moon Landing Oaks. Great video going over the hoaxes, then debunking them. Subscribe. Thanks, Mafia Kings. I don't debunk them all. Just the ones I can find. And I don't know if I debunked the Moon Landing hoax. I think that's I think I kind of left that one open-ended because there's cons I have some questions about the moon landing. But you know, I'm I'm moon obsessed at this point. So everything moon related, I'm I'm skeptical on and interested in. But I don't debunk them all. Some of them I just say it's weird. I try to be as honest as I can. Paul thinks I would look good as a French maid. I don't know if I have the legs for it. Sparkly pig, hollow moon shirt, but one of the craters is a black and white the Y Files logo, and another crater is where Mel's hole comes out. Love you all. Thanks. That's a great idea, Sparkly Pig. Sparkly Pig, the official merch designer of the Y Files. Jackson Kegel, y'all are awesome. I see he's spending awesome, spelling awesome the, the official Greek way. There, that's the Greek spelling. I just like when I see that look on your face. I, I mean, when she's confused, doesn't she look so much prettier when she's confused? <laughs> You're terrible. What's going on with Gino's? It's <laughs> great. All right. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, I didn't get your face of Bo. Oh, the face of Bo. That is the face of Bo right there. There he is. Good morning from the home of the Torchwood Cardiff in South Wales. Loving your work, guys. Tor we didn't we didn't hang around for Torchwood for that long. We bailed out of that one a little bit early. But I love the concept. Right? Do we, what would we get? We got it like one season in, right? Maybe yeah, not even. Yeah, something like that. Because... Because we like Jack. Yep. Um, got a no, you didn't get the right answer. Keaton Beach emailing me again. Keaton, you didn't get it. When you get the answer, you'll know you got it. Right now you're stabbing in the dark. And that's fine. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. But uh, you think I'm being cute with the puzzles. I'm not. Did you, uh, Jennifer, have you solved it yet? I haven't even looked for it yet. Oh, well, that's supportive. Thanks. Thanks, Face of Boat. Reed is back. First time super chatting anyone, so good job with that. All right. We squeeze $4.99 out of you. No 
Holy mackerel! You see what I did there? Thanks for dropping a couple of shekels on me, human. <laughs> Is there anywhere you put what you believe slash explain your own opinion on the topics you cover? Pretty much, pretty much only here, Reed. And I try not to be too aggressive with my opinions here because people have their own opinions, and I don't want to irritate anyone. You know, I, I, on Twitter, I will sometimes give my opinions. I've stopped doing it, but sometimes I'll be a little more more open about what I feel there. But for the most part, it's just going to be here. If I think a story is fake, I'm, I'll say it here. William Welch, thank you for the 10. You keep saying it's on the list of few, about future episodes. Can you share the list even if it's tentative? We do from you know, when I ask, you know, when I ask them what's coming up, that's when we share the list. It's not like it's a big secret. It's, you know, on one hand, it's not a big secret. Um, on the other hand, it's not like a big public thing. I mean, we, we know the episodes out about five or six weeks and I rarely know them until I ask. Cat, where are you? Is he daddy? Does he have separation anxiety? Yes. Uh, five ton 3d gamer. What's the question he's trying to answer in this, in the episode tonight, the cicada episode, I put a cicada puzzle into the episode. So there's uh there's clues in the video, how to solve it. And so far two people have, and, um, and Keaton beach is trying RB's got a submission. RB, you didn't get it. Uh, Charles Oglesby. Thinks he got it. You didn't get it. All right, but you're trying. J2J, what's the answer? I That's no fun. I'm not going to spoil it. That's Jen would do that. She would just come out and say, here's the answer. But I'm not going to do that. Bella and Joe's world. Is Jen in another house? Someone's asking. Yes. AJ. Yes, she is. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh, you got a little irritated, huh? Yeah. All right. It's it's getting late. You cut me off. I know. Go ahead. No, because you'll cut me off again. Paul is back. It probably won't be useful to you anyway, but there was a cartoon of the 2000s, Secret Saturdays. You talk about Lemuria. It made me think of it. The show did a great job exposing kids to conspiracies in a fun way. I never heard of that one. But write that down. Secret Saturdays. Oh, yeah. American Animated Series. The Cartoon Network. I don't know why I never heard of it. Man, I'm just too old. Cool. I'm going to check that out. There is Envoy's back. I will be super hungover in the morning, but I already called off work. You're worth it. Thanks, Envoy. I, I'm glad you called off. That's probably smart. Oh, my goodness. That's terrible. Captain's log, star date 10-09-46.44. The After Files live stream has proven itself once again to be extremely unprofessional. All right, we're at 325 on your clock. We'll go to 330, so let's wrap these up. Dwayne Ferguson is there for 20 Australian. Love your work from Dan Undermate. And finding myself trying to get home from work on Fridays way too early. I appreciate that, Dane. Let's see, we've got... Um... There we are. There's 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 one for Eric for a hundred bucks. <laughs> they see me swimming in my waist. Send me money, cause you know that my bowl is dirty. Cause you know my bowl is dirty. Cause you know my bowl is dirty. Wanna smell my bowl, it's dirty. Come sniff my bowl, it's dirty. My poop is nasty. It's floating. Please tip me, cause you know that my bowl is dirty. Cause you know my bowl is dirty. Cause you know my bowl is dirty. Wanna smell my bowl. Oh, that was like that was like a Gino move there. Just left us wanting more. Also, what's up with the mayor in Hawaii talking about how it was a bomb and fire going off? Another Vegas incident we'll never get the truth of. I don't know, Eric. I haven't heard that about a bomb. I haven't heard that yet. Gino's nodding that he has. Well, we're not going to cover it, Gino. We're, we're wrapping her up. Garnet Hagee for 10. Love the Wi-Fi. my favorite channel. You guys rock. Love the Hecklefish shirt I got. 
Keep up the great work, Bafal's team. Well, you're not wearing it in your avatar, Garnet. Garnet, you're going to have to update that. A bangar bonger zone. Got to support. You guys rock. I don't miss an episode. Hecklefish needs some money. He he, def he definitely does. He definitely does. I like it. I like it a lot. William Welch for Hecklefish and his guppy support. Boom shakalaka. Thank you for the tip. Elfid824, please look into the superconducting, supercollider in Waxahachie, Texas, a.k.a. the Desertron. The U.S. spent billions to build it in 93 funding grant. All right, you're, you're speaking my language right there. The Desertron. Desertron. Superconducting, supercollider, nicknamed the Desertron. Was a particle accelerator complex under construction in the vicinity of Waxahachie, Texas, U.S. It's a planned rig proposal development. Uh, cancellation. Is that the story, Elfid, that it allegedly didn't get canceled? If there's a conspiracy, Wikipedia is not going to tell me. I'll look into that. I like I like where you're going with that. Paul Z, five Australian. Yes, I can finally upgrade my vodka to Belvedere. No more swimming in the cheap stuff. Thanks for all you do to keep us entertained and informed. You're welcome, Paul. Tony Skyline for 10. Won't. Won't you tip me? You know I don't believe you when you say you don't got money. Won't. Won't you tip me? You know I can't believe it when you say that I'm not funny. I write too many jokes just to amuse you folks. You better super chat me or I'll just keep singing. Won't you tip me, human? Won't you tip me, oh, 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 oh. Won't you tip you, man? Won't you tip me, oh, 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 oh. What is your thoughts on what's happening with the missing 411 cases? I had a similar experience that aligns with some of the things that happened in the Adirondack Mountains in upstate New York. Um, I like the 411 cases, Tony. I don't cover them because there's always a victim involved, and I don't do that stuff on this channel. But... Um, but if that, you know, David Politi's covers them better than anyone. But if there's a specific case that you're interested in, email me and we'll get it on the what files. We're going to cover those. Uh, I see Paul, the last several super chats you read were all first timers. Awesome. They were, and that was really nice to see. And uh, appreciate everyone super chatting tonight. Before we go, Keaton Bench, you got it. We have the third winner of the puzzle solve. Nice job, Keith. You got it. Thanks to everyone who supported the channel tonight. Remember, a great way to support the channel is to go to Patreon. A uh, little is three bucks a month to support the channel. Keep us going. You get all kinds of perks, including the, see the episodes early with no commercials, early access to stuff like the Hecklefish plushie, special access on the Discord, two extra live streams a week where there's very few of us on there. And your camera comes on so we get to see each other. That's super fun. So that's at the, that's Patreon. If you'd rather have stuff, shop at thewildfiles.com. New T-shirts every week um, that are based are on the episode. Then they drop off. If you're a Patreon member, you get access to the back catalog as well. Thanks to everyone who super chatted tonight, especially the first timers. Good to see so many people jumping in there and helping keep the channel going. We have to keep these ladies into the lifestyle that they become accustomed. All right. Thanks, Gino. Great job tonight. Megalodon, he was prepared. There he goes. There's Victoria doing a great job as always. She's gonna make a new friend from the winner from uh from the from from the contest earlier. And uh, he's gonna stay in her spare room, right? Thanks for your help tonight, Jenny. Yep. There she goes. Thanks, Tony Skyline. I appreciate that. We'll see you guys next week at Heck Official. See you out. The end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friend, 
I'll state Cody. I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I swam down each, each and every highway, and more, much more than this. I did it my way. I've loved, I've laughed and cried. I've had my fill, my share of losing. And now, as tears subside, I find it all. It's all so amusing to think I did all that. And may I say, not in a shy way. Oh no, oh no, not me. I did it my way for what is a Hecklefish. And you know what? I did it my way.